Timmy the trash can, and I love trash. Popcorn boxes, cups, and candy wrappers. Mmm, they all taste so good. Instead of throwing your trash on the floor, won't you please give it to me? Thank you for considering your fellow patrons. It's apples. Apples have a ton of sugar. Shut up. It's understand. the fucking... Are we recording? Yes. It's the fall. Yeah, it's the fall. Right, it's the fall. Look, my ketosis doesn't like know it. You know that it's a wonderful. Uh, like I'm going leaf peeping, and I'm fucking gonna, leaf peeping. Yeah, like it's when the what? leaves change. How you did go, you make it sound filthy and dirty? That's what the term like is. something a rapist would do. Well, let's go leaf peep. I want to go leaf. <laughs> I wouldn't let you near my children if you're like, it's a nice fall day. We're going to take them leaf, leaf peeping. It sounds like everything you do is like peeping, Tom. <laughs> we're going to go leaf peeping, and then we're going to go skull fuck some pumpkins. You ever fucked a pumpkin? No. I, I, never, I never fucked an object. too big. I feel like my dick was too small. I never fucked anything. They're huge. Like an object wise. I'm like, trying to think what I fucked. I haven't fucked anything either. And I'm kind of disappointed by that. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I think I'm the most, to, the I'm most I've ever done is fill, like a, is fill a paper towel with some hand lotion. Look at this. Like, look at this. Look at this. Whoa, Dude, whoa. these kids are retarded. Out oh, here. yeah. She's just looking like press ups against the wall. Yeah, it's she's a Denny's. They eat free here. Kids eat free? What are I kids? I'll be on Sunday. Oh, Sunday and Sunday and Sunday Tuesday. And Tuesday, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, so. Know. So we're in Ray's shithole of a town. Well, this, is nor this is not my town. This is the town adjacent. We're in Long Island. We're on Ray my way to my... Oh, the LA Fitness over there now. I haven't been here in a while. Ray has accused me of thinking that his town was shit. And I I do. But now Ray is going to prove that I'm wrong. This is a shopping center I went to a lot as a kid. And what did you do there? Uh, I went to the GameStop and the supermarket and the... I, yeah, I didn't really hang out. It was a Wendy's there. That, that was nice. The Wendy's uh, is still here. This is this McDonald's coming up I worked at. I worked at McDonald's. How long did you work at McDonald's? Six months. Uh, yeah, I think I might have mentioned. I, mean, I had a. I wasn't good at first for a while. I was a you know cashier, and uh, I was bad at cleaning, and it was a mess. And my boss came up to me once and told me, "Hey, Ray, come over here. I want to show you why everything you clean looks like ass." Is that and what he said? He said that literally. Isn't it great when someone at a shitty job pulls rank and goes, yeah. there is a good, there's a right way to do this. But he was right. And look, he, you you take, I had the rag all bunched up and he did, you spread the rag out, more surface area. And I used that knowledge when I worked at the morgue and I had to clean the brain matter off the the, pla the, the platter thing when I was taking pictures. Why did you leave the McDonald's? Were you fired? Um, I was just kind of tired of work. I mean, I didn't really, it was 15. I didn't really need the job. Um, you I had gotten into kung fu movies and anime at the time. I want. I wanted to devote more time to that. Um, so you, 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 how did you quit? Did oh, you tell well, I went guy? to my, my store manager, and he said to me, "Where else are you gonna go?" Right. <laughs> like, like I loved was, it at McDonald's, and you were 15, but he yeah. still knew there was no hope. <laughs> yeah. He's like, "Where else are you gonna go? <laughs> Look at me. You see that fryer? That's your destiny." I wasn't. I wanted to work the kitchen. They wouldn't let me. Uh, they wouldn't I, let you work the kitchen no. at McDonald's. Well, a couple times I was able to do it, but like they were kind of they thought it was too much of a klutz. Um, they thought you would fuck up the food delivery system at McDonald's. One time this guy choked me. Uh, what? Well, we were doing this kind of weird. I don't know. Cause you get bored when things are slow, and we we're doing a little ninja. Like we, he'd walk by, he'd be like, "Give me a little ninja swipe," and I do that. It seems weird, but the point is, so like I got a karate chop. Yeah, something like that. So he'd walk by and he'd karate chop you because it was slow and nobody was eating cheeseburgers. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. So what? One day he was older than me and taller and bigger. And one day I got behind them because really I was keeping the joke going with the thing going. And I got behind with a rag and I like like I didn't really choke him. I went to like oh grab him like ah yeah like but it wasn't really. But he apparently had just gotten jumped the night before because that's how he was rolling and. uh so he was all on edge. So he just like flipped me over and started choking me out and punching me. And uh, it's pretty traumatic. I went to this grade hey, school coming up. Let, is that why you ended up leaving the job? Because you no, were beaten? No, I was, uh, I was just. How long after the beating did you stay in the job? And was it awkward? Four months. No, he, he apologized afterwards. It was a well, misunderstanding. Nice. He thought there was a guy jumping him. Is this Ed Mangano's funeral home? Mangano <laughs> funeral? Ed Mangano was the corrupt 
Nassau County executive who was, I swear to God, taking food yellow. bribes. There's a, I believe an he Ethiopian was, place over he's here. He's being bribed with deli platters, him yeah. and his wife, and they were indicted. Whatever happened to Ed and Linda Mangano? Right? Did they Did actually get charged? I mean, they were like they were getting their floors done like by the yeah. with town, town they, money. They, or whatever. She got a, a no show job as a food tester. Like they were taking bribes yeah. of Brigitte. Tastes good. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine with us. Could use a little more bacon if you ask me. <laughs> I think the tuna salad lacks mayo. Yeah. It's a little dry. More, more, please. <laughs> Am I? Uh, how much am I being paid? Four hundred thousand dollars a year. Sounds fair. I used to have Boy Scout meetings in that school. Uh, now I went, Boy to this, Scouts, I went to this music academy. Music academy, <laughs> right? The music store. Whatever. Music academy. They had, they had Did you just say? I think it. I used, went to this music academy. I think it we used just to, passed a <laughs> shitty little building that says music on it, and it's clearly just like a music store for losers. Who want to buy guitars and sit around strumming a guitar? It's true. This liquor store, you remember crazy this? Billy's. Yeah, this was blown up, uh, or the, he blew. <laughs> Wait, what? <he> blew, <laughs> I allegedly blew someone else's liquor store up, or, or, or price fixing. One of those two things. Not I, crazy I, Billy, right? Oh, we're gonna pass by. Uh, you make it right here. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We're gonna pass. I by. like this debit, same as cash. We're gonna. We're, pass, what, now what this, are we? This, we're, this, you need a rest. Oh my god. Dude, this is one of the shittiest bars in the whole world. Take a look at this to the left. This is the famous, you need a rest. That is a little blood box. If you, that's like the Lisa's Lounge of fucking Deer Park. I never God. went there, but the hoarder woman who used to have a hoarder house on my block would hang out there. And yeah. I think she would, you know, go home with guys. But she, her house, it was condemned because it was, the, the floors Dude, were like. Dude, you forget that like even the shittiest bars are places people go to fuck. Right. You forget that. What is this place? Is it a car wash here? Yeah. I haven't been here in years. You forget that as shitty as a bar is. And as disgusting oh, yeah. as the regulars are, people are using it as a place to get fucked. Was that even was that the case at Lisa's Lounge when you went there? Kind of, but it was kind of a drug bar, but I wasn't trying to fuck anyone there. So right. the thing is, if you're not trying to fuck anyone there, you don't know who's really fucking. Like, you get right. an idea of it. Yeah, yeah. But you get an idea, but... Well, you watch those videos from uh, the guy, uh, the the the, the, bagel, the bagel, guy. bagel guy, and this, some of his videos take place at some of these Long Island bars. Yeah, and he's with women in there, and they, like it's all these real old, bad, ugly looking guys, and they're just like you know trying to pick up shit. It's just terrible. It's real sad, man. Yeah. And um, it was Stone Cold here. They banned see? him on Twitter, and then he just got back into Twitter, and he just strike followed lanes. me again. Deer Park Bowling Alley has been changed to strike lanes. Strike lanes. I used to go to pizza Look at this, Domino's. Oh, yeah, it's a real charming, right? Real this fucking is, charming this is, area. This is Long Island Avenue. It's a, more of an industrial area. Yeah. Don't say my street name, by the way. I don't know my, you know. I'm not going to say. Who, who's coming to see you? you uh, fucking I don't even live loser. here anymore. I'm just saying. Like, when we get there, don't, like, you know. I'm not going to say your street name. It's just, you know. You think TMZ is going to show up tomorrow? I just don't want my mom getting <laughs> assaulted by a fan. Yeah, yeah that's, well, to be honest with you, that's not the worst. <laughs> it's actually not the fucking most crazy concern with our <laughs> fan base. They just go and assault your mother. I can't hey, understand man, your I thought it would be really funny to assault your mom. <laughs> I punch her in the face. <laughs> left, right? Left. Okay. Left here. Careful, careful. Whoa. That's Relax. all sorts of danger. This I know is, what I'm doing. I don't know. I mean, you know, this is a nice minivan, but uh, I'm in my aunt's minivan. So we make a right here. Um, so this yeah, is, so this is where I grew. This is, this is already. It's getting nice. I think it's a bourbon it's feeling. It's fine, Ray. It's nice. It's a bourbon. It lacks any definitive character. Well, exactly. We we were high oldy hoity toity. I mean, know. already we have a garage sale. I mean, well, this is what he's saying. It's fine. Nice already, stuff. there's somebody selling your entire house. Wait, garage so that they sales can, are they're a selling tried old shoes true so tradition. that they can go buy oxycontin. In the parking lot. Garage sales are a tried and true People's staple. old shoes. They're selling their old shoes. It's, an old, it's a real staple. It's a real Americana state. It's real Norman Rockwell out here. If he had painted a kid trying to get his mother's back medication, she's barricaded in the bathroom. Excuse me. Um, Straight? Right. I forgot. You know, uh, so Yeah, I don't know. There's a community garden... And then, so Let's take a look at the community garden. Is this it to the right? Well, that's, yeah, that's the community garden, yeah. It looks like a lot of dead plants. But I guess it's... Yeah, I don't... I, what are they the growing fall. there? Opium? I just make a left at the stop sign. Okay, this better be nice, Ray. I gotta be honest. It isn't that bad. Yeah, see? You thought it was like a shitty... Those kids... The kids who lived there used to... Uh, 
No, actually, yeah, one of the kids there, and then this house used to bully me. Try to bully me. I fought back. Uh, Wait, is this the kid who you threatened to kill yourself on his lawn? No, that was like that was a Catholic high school. So yeah, that was my favorite town. thing ever. Somebody's bullying Ray. He's like, I'll kill myself on your lawn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to come to your house and shoot myself in your front lawn. Oh, I, I love know that. What, to do. what so, a great way to, you know, it's a great comeback. Yeah. You know? it, it really. It's a suicide bomber. Yeah. It puts a ball in his court. How are you going to get me? Exactly. <laughs> uh, this is my house here. Where? Right here. Uh, on your, no, next one. That's the people who murder their cats. What do you uh, mean they murdered your cats? With the antifreeze. Why did they murder your cats? Oh, here it is. Yeah, this is what happened. That tree is drooping. But the that's, that's a Ray this house. This is the house I grew up in. That's a Ray house. Yeah, the, the mailbox kind of. It looks nice. Askew. It's got the it's got the nice siding. It's a Long Island home. Yeah, it's nice. It's yeah, a, listen. This house this house in the corner here wasn't there. That used to be a hoarder house where the floors got so saturated with piss that they condemned the whole house. Which house is that? Well, it's it's one this big one on the corner here. So the so the okay. But it used to it used to be facing like. Like People don't here. realize it, things like that were more common. Like hoarders, when we grew up, yeah, uh, there were houses like condemned houses on the block. People you'd never see. I mean, that trope from the movies was real. Oh, sure. Where yeah. you had that woman you never see. There was a woman on my block named Vi. Uh, Viola. And she was like a nasty cunt and would barely come out of her house. And like every like twice a year, her kids would come see her. Like that was a real thing that happened. You don't see that as much now. She was really, she always had these dogs that were very aggressive. They tried to bite me. Um, I mean, it just gives you an idea of, of the, you know, people's lives are just absolute horror. No, it's a shame. You want to go, you ever seen, you know, Pilgrim State? The the mental facility? Yeah, it's right over here. It's, it's not far from here. I've seen Pilgrim State. Okay. I, I mean, I performed in a part of it. Really? Or what's the other one? Kings Park? One of them's open. Kings Park. One of them's old, partially Pilgrim open. Pilgrim State's park, partially open. So Pilgrim State, I perform with Keith, Keith, oh, the, right. the one-armed yeah. uh, ex-crackhead who was a Marine who ran a sober comedy, who ran sober comedy shows. One of them was at the Pilgrim State uh, Mental Institution. They have like a part of it that is dedicated to a rehab. And Mo Mo. Was on stage. Oh, the wonderful Mo Diggs. Yeah, and Mo was on stage, and one guy. Now they had to go to this 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 uh, comedy show. They were oh, not allowed to. It was part of their. It's part of the rehabilitation. It's part of it. It's like it's like a, it's like a performance based methadone. Or Mo whatever. was on stage and he's bombing, and a guy gets up and he goes, "Fuck this!" And then somebody goes, "If you walk out of these doors, you go to jail." He goes, "I don't give a fuck," what? and he left. Wow! So that's how you know you're doing well in comedy when people are literally choosing jail over the rest of your set. That's that's rough. But Mo, yeah. Mo, Mo, didn't, Mo it didn't stop Mo. Uh, well, it did. He's yeah. out of comedy now, uh, I guess and so. maybe gay. Well, I mean, that's good for him, then. Good for him. Well, he... I mean, he's, you like being gay, right? That's fine. <laughs> you know? I mean, I think I could go further in life if I was straight, to be honest. I don't know about that. I mean, I, uh... I mean, maybe maybe it's a slight advantage in the entertainment business, but not really anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're not the best type of gay. I mean... I'm not at all. Just, you know, you could be a little more um, fluffy, I don't know, affable. I am to gay as you are to straight. Right. We're not really a credit to the orientation. Yes. You know what I mean? Oh, I, nobody, nobody's really. We're not going to be on the cover of the brochure. That being said, I don't welcome know. to heterosexual. Welcome to heterosexual. That, I'm right. <laughs> on. That being said, I've been told by women that I lay pipe well. I was told by a woman that I lay pipe. They mean actual laying pipe <laughs> because you're, you know, I'm a, I'm a laborer. You're a plumber. I wish um, I was a plumber. Yeah, it would have been a great job. I mean, they make good money, and it's just like it's like Lego. It's fucking. It's just like is that all it is. It's putting things together. It's, it's like Legos. Connections. It really is like adult Legos. Yeah, you know. It's uh, I look mean, this looking, guy walking around up. He's putting that. Is he taking the garage sale sign down? Look, this is not a meth adult town in particular. It's not meth adult. No, it's a nice enough town. It's a nice enough town. I agree with you. Bagel Cafe, we pizza have, and pasta. There's so many fast food restaurants. Long Island loves its carbs. Bagel oh, Cafe, yeah. pizza and pasta. What is Joe? Come on in for pizza and pasta. This used to be a blockbuster yeah. video. Now it's an urgent care facility. Yeah. Don't have enough insulin spike with the pizza? <laughs> have some pasta. <laughs> pizza and pasta. 
the, the lock and safe building? What is? Why is? How? Because how because you, you, it's so safe. You were just talking about how nice and safe it was. <laughs> That's why there, there's urgent cares, methadone clinics, and lock stores. Where's the methadone clinic? They know it's coming. Look at that Willow Pet Hotel. I never understood what that is. Oh, that Washington, that, that, that laundromat over there, that big laundromat. Yeah. That's where I met Jimmy, who. Uh, I guess he was a, like he was an ex heroin addict. I was like seventeen. I was with my friend. They were like you know just doing a load of laundry, and uh, he's telling us about how he like he doesn't do heroin anymore. He just does about four bags in the morning just to get straight, but he doesn't really do heroin. Interesting. Um, so I mean, it has his underbelly. I'm not saying there's no underbelly, but he was a good guy. He was nice to us. He didn't hit us up for anything. I feel like Jimmy Jimmy went home, and how old was Jimmy? You think? Uh he was like forty, probably. His old mother was like, you're not hanging around with that Raymond <laughs> comp, are ya? This is Jimmy, a- you do your heroin in the house. Don't be hanging around with Raymond comp and the boys. <laughs> One time I was outside my house, and we just passed by before, uh, there was some guy, I was skateboarding outside trying to learn how to ollie. When were you skateboarding? Uh, sixth grade. Fat through, people like, can't night. skateboard. I was chubby back then. Oh, that's disgusting. There's nothing worse than a fat skateboarder. I wasn't fat, fat. Than, Skateboarders you know. should be rail thin and have huge dicks. All right. Well, and dumb. I mean, do they actually have huge dicks or they just look big because they're skinny? They have a good dick, but, you know, it's also just dwarfed Yeah, but it's me. attached to you. Yes, that's what I'm saying. I yeah, mean, so, okay. So thanks for finishing the, 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 you're the, the fat coup de- and you're skateboarding. Take us there. Whatever. So, anyway, I was out there and this guy came over and started talking to me. Uh, this is about, you know, you know, days of his youth. He was probably like 19. He was telling me how he used to like... Make, how old were you? Like 6th, 7th grade. Okay. Like, I mean, he used to take he used to take M80s and like you know they used to like blow up animals and make uh, make bombs out of them and like they like put a cigarette on the f- on the fuse to like so they can get away from it. They would like take clay and put them around the M80 and put ball. I shouldn't be describing what, this. Wait, what is so you were just skateboarding and he came up to you and he's like, "Let me tell you about the good old days." It feels like that. My mom at one point came out and started yelling, "Get away from my boy!" <laughs> so he was trying to fuck you, probably. Maybe, yeah. I mean, he's trying to fuck a. He had a fat. He was a pedophile with a fat fetish. I mean, look. He's he like, I got a real fat piece of shit here. Look, we talk about how you look, like bombs, right? Like, yes, I do. Movies yes, get. I, do. I feel like movies get it wrong because, like, movies make it seem like it's always like this, you know, this fat greasy guy who's a pedophile. But like, we we better than most people know that. The, 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 the titans of industry and the politicians right. are, are actively, they're, they're competing with those. Like, if you're a pedophile and you're a schlub, you're competing with, you know, the likes of, you Oh, know, you can't do it. If you're a, listen, so I mean, he one of the greatest burn. things you ever said is, do you, do you think we're not successful because we have sex with adults? And that's probably the answer. Right. That's probably the solution. So the point is, uh, this guy was like a burnout sort of guy. So if he's going to fuck a kid, it was going to be me, not, you know, some fucking... Right. They were taking it already. You go to war with the army you have. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. That LIE movie, you ever see that movie? It's yeah. about a pedophile. I worked, uh, they used some of the, the, the... I used to work at a camera shop and they used the location. So Brian Cox, trivia. who's in Succession, who's great, is in this movie, LIE. And then, who is it? Paul Dano, right? I believe so, yeah. yeah. it's Paul Dano is in the movie and then Brian Cox is like trying to fuck him but then at the end he like Brian Cox is like five inches is a lot of snow it's a lot of rain but it's not a lot of dick you have more than five inches it's like you're a size queen wow. pedophile that's insane what is this that so he really turns the kid down because he has less than five no, inches no he doesn't like turn him down but he just asks him the question and it's like what kind of size well, maybe, queen look, pedophile Brian Cox you know look uh, it might be something he ad-libbed because he's a smart guy he's, he's got right. he's, he's like wow this, this pe- he got in the head of the pedophile yeah and it's like everyone's really creeped out by all of Brian Cox's ad-libs on the movie <laughs> He's like, what kind of cock you got? They're like, ah, uh, this, this scene is not about that. Well, you know, and I feel like he's smarter than most pedophiles would be in this case, but I feel like he'd be like, well, the boy wouldn't want to show me his dick, so I challenge his manhood, right. and then I make him prove he has more than five inches. I don't care. I'll suck one in the half. <laughs> right, right. But, you know, it, it gets the job done. But uh, the tagline for that movie was... Um, there are lanes going east, there are lanes, lanes going go- west, and then there are lanes going straight to hell. Right. And it's about the Long Island Expressway. And it starts with a kid who goes, my mother's name was Sylvia Blitzer, and she died on the Long Island Expressway. It kills a lot of people. Harry Chapin. And he like goes through <laughs> the whole thing, right? Like, And then he's like, then he goes, is Friendly's done, by the way? Well, I think Friendly's they, is gone. They still exist. Uh, I, I went. My, I was at one. I didn't go in, but I was at one recently. So the L.A. movie is kind of perfect. It's this kid whose dad is a corrupt builder. Right. He was played by the guy who uh, 
like when Tony wanted to buy that house somewhere yes. in the end of the Sopranos and they ended up playing Sinatra to like make him like renege in the contract. Yeah. Yeah, he was that guy. Good guy. So that guy plays the father and then this kid is like ditching school, smoking, like out of it, all that shit. And then uh, he falls in with this group of kids that are robbing houses and eventually he gets preyed on by this pedophile. It's a pretty... Decent representation of Long Island. I mean, I it's got, not the worst. I mean, look, you you seen Caption of Freeman? Where was that? Like, I'm saying, right. like, there's of all, like, it doesn't Go seem to, indicative. Tell, it, tell, it seemed to me, if you're gonna make a movie, L I E, like, this could have happened anywhere. Like, why not make a movie about like, oh, we got so many fast food places around. Yeah, that's your movie. You that. That's your movie. <laughs> that's your film. But the pedophile hangs out at the fast food. Places. That is a better idea. Yeah. No, make everyone fat. Yeah. But you're leaving out the fact that we have it. It there. I don't know if there is a place on Earth that has more fast food places. This this strip going on this Deer Park Avenue yeah. has the most per yeah. like square inch or whatever. It's, it it's really. Official. I've been around the country. There is no place that has as many as we do. I mean, we don't we don't we don't get like we we just got sound like a few years back, right? Maybe six years ago now. Uh, we don't but get like, all the little things. But, you don't get all the little things, but like in areas where there's a Sonic, there'll be a Sonic and nothing else. Right. Here. There's like 12 Dunkin' Donuts, Sonic, Wendy's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, all fucking driving. Burger King, all, all doing, drive-thrus. All busy. All, all doing well. packed. Yeah. Because they love their convenience, Raymond. Right. Now we're getting on the Southern State Parkway. How many car accidents have you been in on Long Island? I'll uh, go first. Yeah. Five. <laughs> I think one, my, my first real one was in the city, in Long Island, Long Island City, but then I got into one in uh, one in Long Island when um, I collided with those state trooper or not state trooper federal agents I believe but they let me go yeah this was that was a great story I just dropped you off actually I dropped you off I wasn't you know you drunk or anything. no you fell asleep at the wheel yeah I nodded off for a split second I was so close to home too I just driving back from the city dropped him off where he lived and then uh, I was literally like two minutes from home and I nodded off for half a second and and then tell us where you woke up uh well colli- college in the collision with the Federal officers who yes. were on my car who seemed to be in such a rush to get to the airport they were like we just have to go and they left the scene yeah because they just they just transported Jeffrey Epstein right. you know back to the country yeah can but, you imagine uh, they're doing some secret thing and then you just fucking <laughs> crash into them this fat fuck you know what I mean like, like, like tell pro and yeah. I'm just yeah. <laughs> they're like what happened I was just I, what, what did you hit me or did I hit you I nodded off for a second. <laughs> They're transporting some fucking high value detainee. Yeah. <laughs> they just kidnapped some scientists from Brookhaven National <laughs> Laboratories. They're pissing on before they even get to the fucking prison. Uh, yeah. And then they get hit Did by the Did you see that clip fuck. on uh, Twitter or YouTube or whatever? There was a I mean we've always heard about Seymour Hirsch, but this guy was saying he witnessed he would be it was done in the style of like meet this doctor who like helps kids with amputated feet like yeah. it was one of those like heartwarming videos but it was like meet the guy like it was, they showed the clip the, the pictures of like the, the Abu Ghraib and right. the guy like the, the, the guy in the, um, the hood and like this is the guy under the hood and they fucking showed the guy who apparently was in that famous picture under the hood and he's talking about how he was pissed on and electrocuted like I'll never forget the electrocution I felt like my eyes were gonna burn out and he says he witnessed soldiers Raping kids in front of their fathers. Yeah, no, we believe that. Yeah. Seymour Hirsch said that there are tapes of soldiers or whoever yeah. raping children in front of their fathers, and if the CIA is very scared that those tapes will come out. I mean, do you think that's like, that's part of the torture manual? Like, all right, so first, like, they, they give you a Viagra in case you don't like kids, and then they fucking like, or is it like, like a rogue pedophile just did it? I don't believe... I literally don't believe in rogue pedophiles anymore. <laughs> That's a good point. After the last few years, <laughs> I believe you're a pedophile. You're in a group. It might be a poor group. It might be a Knights of Columbus. Yeah. But you are in a group. There is... The, with the dark web, I don't believe in the lone pedophile, nor do I believe in the lone shooter who killed Bobby Kennedy or right. Martin Luther King or JFK or... I'm starting not to believe in that. I'm... It's hard for me to believe in Stephen Paddock. You know, I'm not saying that that didn't happen. What, the, 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 the uh, well, Las Vegas shooting? Yeah, the guy that has no history or social media or friends well, like 50, or relatives right? or uh, or his girlfriend would happen to be in the Philippines. And 
the one guy who interacted with him directly did an interview with Ellen and then disappeared forever. Mm-hmm. And nobody else interacted with Stephen Paddock. And his brother was busted for child porn a week after oh, yeah. he was arrested. I forgot about that. And then disappeared. It's just an Wait, was he alive? I forgot. He, he's alive. Who? Stephen Paddock? No. He was killed, right? He killed Before- himself. Right, yeah. After shooting all those people to make a point, I guess, about gun control. That was kind of the narrative for a minute. They wanted us to believe that. He was doing it to make a point about gun control? I think people were saying that. People were like, he was anti-gun and he just wanted to wake the country. I remember what? that. That literally was a narrative. They're like, that's particularly, that's potentially. But again, this is from the same media with Chris Matthews who goes, you know, politicians are poor. So a guy like, they can't travel everywhere. Yeah, so a guy like Jeffrey Epstein just lends him his plane. They, these politicians, they end up spending time with these nefarious characters because they have money and they have plane. I'm like, oh, so the Clintons are poor? That's your look, argument? I mean, look, even to take it a step further, like there are guys who I'm sure favors are done, but it's like, like, like who is this Epstein guy? Why is he letting me use Like, you know, you know right. that they want something from you. That's right. the thing. You know on some level that so like you probably go, well, who is he? What's like is he in the I mafia? Also guarantee is he you, a fucking Russian you I, know, mobster? I guarantee you that there is not one person on Epstein's jet that was not a multimillionaire. Right. No, of I course. guarantee yeah. it collapses this is whole logic. It's not young congressmen on that jet. Right. Okay? Yeah. These are fu- let's can we stop? Well, is the governor of Pennsylvania, uh, wasn't he on it? Is he a millionaire? They're all mil- There's nobody that's not a money? millionaire. Why am I Why am I so broke? Because you're fucked. You don't fuck kids. Yeah. I mean, what? You get, you get Asian not, wisdom when you fuck kids? What is it? I don't know. Listen, every fucking governor, no, not one of them is broke, and I guarantee you the majority of them, Ray, are, are wealthy. They have over in holdings... Over a million dollars with their house and everything. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And listen, we're just talking about, oh, they can't afford... Because to buy that argument, it's that, oh, you can't really afford to fly. Right, you can't get on a fucking you commercial plane. You can't get on a plane. There's planes every hour. Yeah, you can't, you get, can't on get on a plane. I find a way to do it, but the governor of uh, Bill Richardson can't. No, Bill Richardson will be Bill harassed Richardson, to be trying to fly yeah, on a plane. Yeah, he couldn't get on a plane, right? Because everyone would fucking bother him. No. We're so fucked. It's over. I don't know. I mean, uh, this is route. This is uh, the Southern State becomes the Belt Parkway. By the way, Southern you know that, becomes but, the Belt. I but, know so that. you might have heard of that, you, you listeners out there, as one of the, the most belt, dangerous. Yeah, the Belt roads is in like one of the top ten dangerous roads in the world, and like the other roads are like etched into the side of a mountain. The Belt's like one of the only roads that's in like a civilized country. Yeah, that is dangerous. But right, it's, that's a good yeah. point. <laughs> but it's because. People are animals driving through Brooklyn. People well, it's don't also care. also that Robert Moses designed it uh, in a curvy, weird way with low uh, overpasses. Now, explain why Robert Moses designed all the parkways. It was said that he loved cars and not people. Robert Moses is the guy that designed all the parkways to go to Long Island, and none of them could have buses on them. Well, why? He, he dislikes certain people more than others. Uh, he basically... He made, did not like blacks. Right. He, he made the overpasses low so that, like... Uh, poorer people, uh, regardless of their you know race or gen- or creed, but you know, but yeah, he they were, he was definitely a racist. But they, they, the buses couldn't bust people out. Are you trying to defend Robert Moses from the charge of racism? That's no, no, right. I'm just saying I don't think he like. I'm just saying I don't want to paint the brush that only blacks and Latinos are poor. I'm sure there's some poor white kids who also couldn't be bussed out. Yeah, but Robert Moses liked them better. He did. He definitely. I'm Let's sure he ranked honest. them higher. Um, if Robert Moses. If there was a way to just get poor white people out yeah. here, Robert Moses would have done it. He might have had a gr- like an end of the yeah. Grinch moment. Yeah. And been like, oh, okay. Yeah. But, but no, but he... Go so he's, buy... The, he does like screws at the end. Go buy a turkey <laughs> and take it to the poorest white family you know <laughs> and have a feast. Okay. Yeah. Now, I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. All right. Now, here's the thing about this, which is funny. I don't know if podcasting in a car is illegal, Talking on the phone is, right. but is podcasting while driving illegal? It's, I mean, podcasting, I mean, are, could podcasting we, should be illegal. I agree. Could we be the first people to get arrested <laughs> for podcasting while driving? It should be illegal in your bedroom. Yeah. It should uh, be Ill- <laughs> but the point, nah, I don't think he saw the mics. So, you know, maybe he thought they were guns. Can you imagine, like, like your parents used to be like, "Are you jerking off?" <laughs> they never said that, but they thought it. Now they're knocking on the door. They're like, "Are you podcasting in there?" <laughs> You've got no listeners, faggot. <laughs> Your father's yelling at you. You don't ever chart. You never chart, you piece of shit. Why don't you ask people to share and subscribe? You yeah. Gotta, you got to tell you. Gotta, you got to hold their hand. 
<laughs> you gotta fucking spoon you gotta shove it oh you think you're chapo trap us huh cause you don't have a goddamn job you just hate the rich you're not funny so now we're passing the seafood oyster bay right um, my father by the way right this is this is our favorite thing ever yeah right before I came to New York both my aunt Donna and my father said hey please come stay with us if you need to and we had hotels for every other night, but Saturday the hotels were like a grand a night in New York. I don't know why, because it's Columbus Day and a lot of people are. So I called my dad. My dad has two houses now. He's moving from one to another. And I'm like, hey, me and the first we call Aunt Donna, we're like, hey, we, me and Ben would love to stay for a night. She's like, oh yeah, this weekend's <laughs> not good. She's like, we're doing a garage sale soon, so this weekend's not good. But any other weekend. You just got to show up. You can't like, yeah. you can't give them the heads up. That's probably what it is. You and said then, any time. Yeah, my dad goes, hey. I was like, hey, can we stay at night? He goes, ah. And then he gets on the <laughs> phone with his wife. He, he, he calls her over. He goes, oh, Christina, they want to. He's like, yeah, it's just not good this weekend. Well, my parents are the same way. My parents uh, last any year. Any other time. They, uh. We're supposed to see him for Thanksgiving, but the cats had fleas apparently, and uh, cause I was supposed to go to their place, and then they couldn't like so I wasn't allowed. Like, oh, okay, fine. And so well, they this is a lie. It. I mean, we know this is a lie. Well, they the resolved cats had fleas. it, and then again, the cats at Christmas, the cats got fleas again. No, then, this is a right. They don't want you in their home. Yeah. I mean, this is not. I wanted to pick up my old guitar from them, and yeah. my mom's like, "Watch out! I'll meet you at the train station." And really? She met me at the train station. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know what's going on. In Do there. they think if you? Come into the house, you legally won't leave. Yeah. Do you believe that's squ part squatter's of rights? Bitch. You stupid. <laughs> hey, I'm coming I, I over. Got you. I'm coming over to get my old guitar. <laughs> Your dad's like, we're not falling for that again. <laughs> this stupid fuck thinks he's gonna get in here. Fuck you, Dad. I got mail here. You can't get <laughs> me. You walk in. You just start having your mail sent there. Yeah. You walk in. <laughs> You walk in waving a lipa bill? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I'm never leaving, you stupid bitch! And I just start smoking meth? Yeah. <laughs> you just light a cigarette, you're dancing around. I love the idea, I'm moving home. So I don't, I don't know what they're doing there. It reminds me of things my grandparents did to my mom back when, I, when I was younger. When they pull the same, you know, like, we're supposed to go to their place for Thanksgiving. Ah, uh, they're sick. My mom knew, like, ah, uh, they're sick. Like, well, they're sick, really? Yeah, they seem, to get, they seem to get sick every holiday. Yeah, they're full of shit. Dude, there's nothing better than on the holidays, the family just saying no. <laughs> Last year, my Aunt Kathleen canceled Thanksgiving the night before. Really? Yeah, and she's just like... Under what pretense? Nanny's not feeling up to it. Oh, wow. Once somebody gets over a certain age, yeah. you can use them and, and then just go, they're not feeling up to it, and you never even have to... With, people are like, put her on the phone. Kathleen's like, I gotta go! <laughs> they're like... <laughs> Put her right, on the careful. phone, Kathleen. This Kath is a particularly windy part. Be careful okay, with your hand on the wheel. Put her on the phone, Kathleen. I mean, the reality is she was. Is she, is she still alive ben, when she look died to the right. year? All the crosses and flowers <laughs> are people who've died on the southern state. Yeah. I mean, look, you, you get a hey. lot of it. I used to see you know teenage people or adults who died in the southern state. They're coming to the morgue. Uh, right. Yeah, it ain't, no, it ain't no thing. Uh, it ain't no thing. I saw a girl once. She was trying to cross the southern state on foot. Like, you know, I don't know why. She was at a party, and she got, you know, a little uh, twisted or whatever, and she uh, got a fucking face full of a truck and uh, died. Now, what does a body look like when it's been hit by a truck? It wasn't really a truck, but uh, I was just saying, it sounded better than, a, a, you know, a Civic. But uh, What does she, a body look like after it gets hit by a Civic? I'm telling you, I'm telling uh, you. Basically, the head feels like a bag of broken glass. Like it looks relatively intact often, but like it's cr like it's you know when you like you know when you like drop a, a glass sometimes and it's kind of like broken but like still together I, sort of. It's like that. It's like a broken of. light bulb. Uh, so the, the the skin's holding it together, but it's just all loose. And you gotta like position it for the X-ray. It's uh, there's a lot of gravel. Like embedded in the skin now. There's burn marks from like where either they skidded or, uh, um, you know, or, or they we hit the pavement. Uh, often there'll be a compound fracture on the arm. What did her, be, what did her, bre what would her breast look like? Look, they're, they're, look they're, no, not look. The I'm same, asking you they're, they're the same variety as living women's breasts. Okay, I mean, I'm so not, you, you're gonna get me on this one. Did you look at her breasts? Were you a cop? Okay. Women I, have breasts. Women I have vaginas. I just say to Ray, 
if a good looking guy OD'd on heroin and I was at a morgue, I would be curious as to what the guy looked like, you know? I mean, I'll be, I'll be I might take a little look at the dick. I'll what be kind honest of with you. Guy I'll be honest with you. Like, All look, right. You see everything. You take you pictures. You see it. Uh, you see it. And I used to wonder, like, yeah. look, of course you're not going to be you're doing anything awful, beating off. But, like, no. do you get attracted? And there's something right. about a lifeless body that really has no appeal to me. Well, I don't know. Maybe you just haven't found the right one. Perhaps. I mean, you maybe know. Maybe you just didn't find the right lifeless body. Maybe. Like, we didn't get a lot of cancer patients because they were already seeing a doctor, so we know why they died. Right. So they wouldn't be coming to a morgue. You get surprises. Yeah. You get yeah. people that try to make it across the southern state. He hasn't been to the doctor in 10 years, and now he dies in the toilet. Figure right. it out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fun game of Clue. Yeah. A lot of people die in the toilet because they just they feel bad and they go, maybe they can shit this out and they can't. And really? They die. Yeah. Well, yeah, there's weird intestinal things or whatever's, whatever's going on. If something's wrong, you're like, maybe I just got to take a shit. That's Long Island for you. Right. Maybe I just got to take a nice shit. I can shit it out. <laughs> I can shit it out. You should go to see the doctor, Vinny. Shut up. <laughs> Everything I just gotta take a shit. Nice Dude, shit. you know what's funny? Growing up, whenever you felt bad, somebody would ask you, "Did you move your bowels? Did you go to the bathroom?" I mean, look, it's not—it's not a bad question. When you're a kid, especially, because you know, when you're like, it took me a while to realize what shit felt like before. Like, you know, sometimes you have a nice shit brewing, but you think you know something's wrong, or like, you know, when you eat a nice bowl of pasta and you get a little acid reflux, but you think the world's ending because you got a hot burp. So I right. mean. You gotta tell. You gotta tell your I kids. I just had all my blood taken uh, from my doctor, Doctor Ramos. He has a picture of George W. Bush on the wall. Uh, oh, he's a big Fox News fan, right? He loves Fox News. Loves Bush. I said, "Is keto good?" He goes, "No, Mediterranean diet, fish, vegetables." I'm like, "Okay." Well, it's the same. It's also keto, fish, and vegetables. <sighs> Everyone's got their gimmick. Look, it everyone's matter. got a gimmick. It's like, yeah, like you don't have to eat like a. a Glass of baking grease if you're doing Can keto. Can I tell you what I had yesterday and you tell me where I went wrong? Sure. I woke up with Ben. Mm -hmm. We went to Park Avenue Autumn for brunch. Nice. We had cinnamon rolls with honey roasted almonds. Mm -hmm. What is Cinnamon rolls? Yeah, it was, it was the cinnamon, like sticky buns. Like the cinnamon sticks? No, like a roll, a like roll. a sticky bun. Oh, like an actual cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll. Well, I'll tell you right now, that's, that's no good. But uh, first of all... Yeah. You don't, you're not taking into account the rest of the day. All right, go ahead. And I, I walk six miles. Can you remember? Can you? So already, first of all, I'm fine. I walk six miles. Okay. So it's a cinnamon roll. I mean, so you, at the pace you walk, and you're not, you're not, you're not a sloth, but I'm the pace sloth. you walked, walking six miles, you probably burned maximum 600 calories, 700 it's calories. It's not all about calories, Raymond. You know you, the that. cinnamon roll itself probably had 1,200. You need to shut your mouth. At the mouth. end of the day, it is calories. A lot of it is calories. You need to shut your, your mouth. Your body's burning calories. Like, you haven't burned the calorie keto, your whole entire life. I have been on keto. You, did keto we to you did we is a this? Spanish guy that works in the deli. Listen, we had breakfast risotto, which is night pumpkin it's risotto. Rice. We had pumpkin risotto Creamy with rice. sausage. Then we had, um, what do we have? Butternut squash soup. Then we had- That might be okay, but probably it's Then we had though. avocado toast with crab. Then we had a, a well, fried no. chicken sandwich with jalapeno coleslaw. Then we had smoked salmon eggs benedict. Then we had a s'mores sundae. Then we had a creme brulee. And then we're done. Now we're done. I have a bag of roast beef in my backpack. And that's what I mean. After and, that, and we cheese. didn't eat. After that, we did not eat until we went and had General Tao's chicken, beef lo mein, scallion pancake, and some dumplings. You could eat so you could have eaten ribs with no sauce. You could have eaten beef and broccoli with no sauce. I know. I went off my program. I mean, look, not everyone can have the uh, the, the the rigorous uh, standards of uh, dietary resolve that I have. Uh, why don't you? And I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Why don't you start a personal training company? I feel like I could. I'm, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> I'll, look, listen, listen, listen. How big are you now? I'm a big guy. I'm three something. I don't know. I'm I'm maybe three, I'm under three. I'm in the high threes probably. I might be under three. I got fat. I got really fat. Are you in the high threes, do you think? I don't know. It's bad. You think in the mid threes? Mid to high, yeah. Like I'm a, I don't think I'm four. You can't go over four, right? No. You can't. Look. Look. I love how you say no like that. You go, no. <laughs> no, that's when it's not fun anymore. <laughs> I won't let myself get over four. <laughs> Four, four is when I, 
That's what I ran it in. <laughs> I'm only knocking on it. When I when I get to four, I say no more. Look, I'm, it's uh, tough. I know. I, I've been doing it for a week now. About I'm I'm a supporter of of the, your weight loss. Thank you. I mean, I'm going to do it. I'm in shape. I mean, isn't I'm already, that funny uh, when people say that it means nothing? They go, <laughs> I'm so I'm proud of you. You go, shut up. <laughs> yeah. You shut up. Oh well, now now that gives me the relief. Yeah. No, I mean, I do it to spite you because you, you all you do is call me a fat pig. Um. I do love. not call you a fat pig. You call me something. I call myself a fat pig. You've called me a fat pig plenty. I, is, is I call, not your Hollywood. So you can't be fat shaming people. No, I call everyone that's fat fat. Lilo's fat. I call everyone fat. I'm fat. Right. I don't mince words and lie like other people. You're big bone. You're husky. You're, no, it's fine. You're prestigious. I, I say I'm you're, fat. You take up space. You're prominent. I remember an episode of Ali. That's a swear to God. There's a new clothing company. Stavros made me laugh. He sent me a thing where they go. For pro- it's clothing for prominent men. It's Ooh. like no, they're fat. There was an episode it's not of prominent. Ali McBeal, I remember, where this fat guy was suing this woman for not dating him or something. He was gross, gross pig. And then at the end, he she was trying to tell him like, oh no, you're fine, you're doing, you're a good guy. And he's like, well, then your friends date me. And she she's like, well, no. And he's like, <laughs> because of my heft. <laughs> she's like, yeah. And I've always thought that'd be a nice way to refer to you, like my heft. my heft. Doctor, is it my heft? Is that the issue? Look, it's not that I, I eat a lot of the cold cut. I have prosciutto during the day. You get some nice pepper jack cheese. There's a lot of stuff you can eat. Now, you uh, walk around eating meats and cheeses, and you get them out of a bag, and that disturbs many people. Well, look, I mean... Once you ate garlic in a frozen yogurt place, and you did that for what, a cold? Well, that's because I, I just vomited of garlic. in the restaurant. That's true, and you decided to eat a raw clove of garlic. Well, it's good for your stomach. It, it helps... It's antimicrobial properties. So you were, just, you were eating raw garlic in a... Yogurt spot yeah, where like yogurt parents spot. were tasting yogurt with their children. Well, look, go taste your yogurt. I'm tasting garlic. And there was it like a little girl, like she has her mother. She was like, "Is he eating garlic?" And you're like, rah, rah, rah. "They say microbial." I don't want to tell you. Like, yeah. this is not. This is not. I'm not doing porn in a fucking yogurt place. I'm eating a clove of garlic. Yeah, a raw this clove is, of garlic. It's the, you can buy it in a grocery store, kid. You know, yeah. you gotta learn. <laughs> You gotta learn how you the buy world. dog food in the grocery store too. You shouldn't eat that. You shouldn't eat kibbles. It's a cold look. Garlic. The fact that our country has kind of let's you talk know, about our country a minute. Yeah. All right. How's this country doing? Um, on a scale of one to ten. I believe the impeach, on a scale. The impeachment process <laughs> is like us taking a shit. The country. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Look, it, how's the country? How do you mean? Finance, like economically? How are uh, we doing, Raymond? If you were a betting man, you're a betting man. Now. Yeah. You're talking about us. Let's talk about us like a company. Right. Um, well, we've moved past the cash cow phase of our right. company. We're, Correct. We're, we're now in a state of decline. You, right. You started the, the, the business matrix I learned at Suffolk Community College. Okay. And it was a, there was a, a startup, uh, yeah. a growing venture, a cash cow, when like you have a very profitable business or country that you can kind of just you know siphon the money out of and yeah, put it into your sure. dark, dark uh, you know activities. Think two thousand and five mortgages. You go like your house is an ATM. Right. Go exactly. in. You got equity. You got cash. Yeah, we want a pool. Well, yeah, now, we want a deck. Ooh, yeah. I mean, no, that's the thing. Everyone who complains, they were all refinancing their goddamn homes to get like extensions on their shitty houses. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying they're as bad as the people at Goldman who were lying, but like, almost. You're like, on a, like, relative to what you should be doing. Like those guys. Listen, it's a country of criminals. Yeah, I don't, exactly. I, we're I all trying to get over. Yeah, everybody's trying to get over. Some people are better at it than others. And then there's like a few people that are, you know, genuinely getting fucked, and I feel yeah, bad about that. Yeah, the pension Yeah, right. But let's know. get let's let's be honest. There's a lot of people out there trying to figure something out. Right. So especially uh, on this island, on Long right. Island, everybody's there's criminality is rampant. Yeah. Politically, it's almost like this country is so bad and it's getting so much worse, and it has nothing to do with the politics. Almost like the politics are bad. Like I, Trump is a maniac. Uh, He's flouting the rule of law in a way where it's like, yeah, is he worse than Bush? Well, no, Bush killed a million people or whatever, but, you know, started fake wars. But, you know, he didn't openly flout. Well, he did with the torture stuff. And it's all, it, apples and oranges. I don't know. Point is, it's bad, though, to be so flagrantly flouting the rule of law. That being said, the real problems are just demographic, like or, the automation, which, yeah, Andrew Yang talks about. But, like, you know, we're, we're all being, like, fucking priced out of a job. Uh, there really is. We've expanded in a way. Like this country was kind of built on a certain level of, of like 
uh, industrial output. And like, you know, look, look at Detroit, for instance. Like Detroit is there because the automotive, you know, business needed a certain amount of people that work in factories. They, you know, they're not doing it here anymore. Like Detroit shouldn't really be there. There's no reason for Detroit to be there now. And that's going to be a lot of the country. Like, right. We've gone into nooks and crannies in this country that like don't really have a like like well, when the jobs going to come here. They're not. No. Why is it? Well, gonna, listen, I think those places got to hold on till when Miami and New York are underwater. Well, that's a fair point. Like, I mean, that's their only hope, right? Yeah. I mean, they should I mean, be. If they I was should Detroit, be, it's like, hey, climate change would be the best thing that happened. Are those to states, some of those cities? Right, are, right? are they red states? Because that that would make sense. That actually make a lot of sense if it turned out that they really they believe global warming. Yeah, they just but, want it to happen. Like we want it now. Yeah. I mean, because that is like you know they'll become the new shorelines. I guess when you travel around the country, which I, I had the ability to do when I was on Bert with, with Bert Kreischer, and I do yeah. it all the time on my own. But we were in Oklahoma, and we were in. Uh, you know, San Antonio, Texas, and Houston, Texas. There's a surprising amount of resiliency in certain pockets, you know? Right. Of the country, you know? We're in one of them right now. I mean, we're in a very wealthy, we're heading into one of the wealthiest areas in the country. Well, sure, because we're like, look, we're next to... A metropolis. Yeah, the, the metropolis, right. at least for now. So. Now, the, so the reality is, but the, the issue is when you leave right. any of those cities... Yeah. It does not take you too long before you're in what Chris Hedges would call like a sacrifice zone. Sure. It doesn't take you too long. The, some of the inner ring suburbs are okay. Some of them are still not okay. But once you get to those outer ring suburbs. I don't know if Chris Hedges is a homeowner because he's not thinking about how low the property taxes are. <laughs> yeah. Some of these uh, sacrifice zones. Chris, it must be tiny. You have to see you have to see the rainbow and the pot of gold after the storm. In some of these spots, I know it might seem dire, but like, yeah, it's hard to get a job, but your nuts got to be so low. You know, you're like, not as low. You know, you're like, you, the problem is what people don't understand about low nuts. Nobody wants, and this is like, this is when I was doing real estate. No, like the idea of getting a deal <laughs> is like people don't understand what a deal is. You know, right? Uh, you anything where you're getting a deal, like real, true, actual deals. Are few and far between. Yeah, it's usually because a guy yeah. has got a new job, motivated by or it's motivated It's because a guy seller. blew his head off in the kitchen. There's still blood on the wall. Okay, right. Like that's why. Like you, how you, much of it? Like how much of a factor is motivated sellers? Like people who get a new job, maybe or whatever. Like they, they that's need to get a factor. Out. It's an undeniable factor. But when you look at areas like Detroit and stuff, it, you know, I think Detroit's coming up now. It's getting better. But people talk about some of these areas. They're like, it's so inexpensive. Like, There's uh, a reason. Yeah, there's a right. reason. Reason it's inexpensive. There's a reason mean. it's expensive to live in New York or the surround tri-state area. Yeah. There's a reason it's expensive to live in Los Angeles County. There's a reason. You know, people start talking about how inexpensive everything is. Yeah, because there are no services. Right. There are, you know, God forbid you have kids that need to go to a school. Like the the roads suck. People can barely find you. I mean, listen. Obviously, there are places that are much less expensive than where we are. And, you know, this is like a bad example. Right now we're what passing. What's going on here? What is happening here? There's some kind of. It's probably for me, dude. It's a, a dude, drag a bu- racing thing. There's or- a bunch of kids here that want to take photos of me, right? They know who we are. Is that? No, I don't say. But- right here to the left is the Americana in Manhasset. It's all the high-end stores. Oh, this is the, the Miracle Mile? Was that down south? This is the Miracle Mile. Yeah. The Nautical Mile is down south. The Americana has your Gucci, your Prada, it all that. It feel like a miracle. I'll be honest with you. It feels more like just... Um, so now we're entering the, the North wealthy. Shore. Ben has never seen the North Shore of Long Island. Oh, really? He's never seen the Great Gatsby. I, I, you know, the the, 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 the houses that inspired Are that. Are we going to the, the, the big... Uh, was it a Rockefeller we're gonna, mansion? We're going to go in there. We're going to see the... I saw uh, a wedding there. Really? Yeah. They... they um, it's not. It's not like the Vanderbilt Mansions, which are also on Long Island, and they're a little more upkept. I There's think. Vanderbilt Mansions where we're going to be. There's, at a bunch, too. there's a bunch, yeah, some in Suffolk. There's some over here. Are you talking about the big stone castle? Yes. You shot a wedding at. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe it's a Rockefeller Mansion. It might have been. Yeah. Or, um, it has a name. I forget. Fillets yeah, I'm not sure. or something. It's in Sands Point. But it's usually like that. Like that's not usually used for that kind of stuff. They shot uh, Great Expectations, the, the the Ethan Hawke version. Uh, he, they shot part of it there. Yeah. And, and they used it for the show at the. Uh, Will Arnett, uh, the Running Wild show doesn't matter. Point is, uh, I was allowed in these places, 
They, you would think that, you yeah, know. Yeah, you were taking photos. Yeah, but I, I, I was elbow to elbow with some, you know, powerful people. Of course. And, uh. And I'm they, sure they were thrilled. They didn't mind. It was fine. They found me, you know, they, look, they respect hard work. Well, they work. like seeing a guy sweat and run around That's old what their school. their grandpa did. Yeah, they like seeing a, a, a guy kind of get abused. <laughs> you know? They like to see a white guy get abused. They like white slaves. Yeah. They, they like, don't want, they they like to see a, a fat white guy running around. With that game of succession they had. <laughs> yeah. The sausage. Born on the floor. Yeah, born on the floor. They love, <laughs> they love seeing a white fat guy sing for a <laughs> supper. Yeah. But uh, but then I put my pictures on the plasma he, screens, and they were all very like, oh, this guy. Here is St. Francis Hospital. This is where my grandmother died of a heart thing where they pierced her esophagus while doing a scope or something. Even as a young kid, I was aware that this was supposed to be yeah. the heart hospital. Right. I know. <laughs> and they just killed her. Yeah. They killed her. Her doctor drives a Bentley, Dr. Israti. Oh, God. He drove a Bentley. He's like, yeah, we feel real bad about killing her. Yeah. We're just, we're like, let's just uh, poke around down there. We'll see yeah. what we find. Ah! <laughs> She's done. She's Sorry. Done. She's a, we stuck Sorry. Her. We stuck her. Yeah. Our bad. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, all right. I got to go to lunch. We might as well take lunch early. <laughs> Let's take lunch early. I mean, it was really crazy. I remember yeah. going out there. Did she die on the spot? Or it like- no, it took a while. Right, we went yeah. in and said goodbye and kiss and, ho- you know. And, and she was, like, not conscious towards the end. It's very sad when you have somebody like that. And then you're in the wing where everyone's dying, and you're looking at all the other families, and they got someone dying. Yeah. You know, and everybody's kind of, you know, Competing kind of crying. And some people are out smoking butts. And, some you know, everybody's on their phone. Everybody's stressed out. You know, back at that point, I had nothing going on in comedy, pretty much. I mean, I had a little teeny bit going on. I remember that. Time. So I was, like, you know, I was, like, leaving that and then going to perform it in some bar. Probably, yeah. You know? Or maybe a Why comedy club. I think club. you might have already done, like, uh... Yeah, like I mean, West yeah. Like, Standing by that point. Yeah, I, like I that. think I had done JFL. I think she died in 2018. I, right. I'm exaggerating. I had more going on than I give myself credit for, but not a lot. Not a ton. I killed for your career in 2018. <laughs> my career in 2018. <laughs> I cannot say enough good things about Ridge Wallet. I started using one last week, and it's changed my life. I had... An old wallet for many, many years that fucking was embarrassing every time I took it out. Old business cards fell out. I mean, napkins, tissues, you know, oysterette crackers you'd put in a bowl of clam chowder. I would keep in my wallet. I would keep in pieces of skin I'd ripped off my hands and I would keep in, uh, you know, just, just dried blood and all kinds of things. You know, dudes keep all kinds of stuff in their wallet that they shouldn't keep, you know fingernail clippings and, you know, you know, uh, a hair of a dog that died. I mean, that's the thing, man. People just throw it in their wallet. I don't care. I would throw it in my wallet if I wanted to keep it. I would put my high school yearbook in my wallet and walk around with it like a fucking fool. Take out my wallet and all of a sudden there's cocaine and sand falling out of it. Dried blood and oysterette crackers business cards from companies that don't even exist where the CEOs were taken out by the feds. It's embarrassing. You want a real deal wallet. You want something streamlined. You want something sexy, sleek. Go with a Ridge wallet. How many credit cards do you have? How many debit cards do you have? Everything is mobile now. Everything is your phone. Get a Ridge wallet. Get a phone case. Simple. Boom. That's all you need. Okay? You do not need... A fucking crazy wallet with some fucking, you know, old musty smell leaving your pocket. It's ridiculous. It's not smart. If you go to ridge.com slash Tim and use the code Tim, T-I-M, in the description, okay, you get 10% off your order. Ridge.com slash Tim. Use code T-I-M for 10% off your order. That's the reality. That's what you need. You do not need your pocket should have a Ridge wallet in it in the front pocket of your jeans. And you should never not wear jeans. Nobody's ever not wearing jeans. I and mean, that's just the reality of where we live now. You wear jeans. That is it. If you're under 30, 
You can get away with sweatpants. If you're over 50, you can get away with a khaki. But if you're not at work, you're, you're wearing jeans and you slip your Ridge wallet in the front pocket with a, a credit card or two, a debit card, okay? Maybe one business card, that's your lawyer. In case you go out and you have a little fun, you need to make a phone call. But that's it. Stop with the fucking loyalty card from the deli. Stop with the punch card from 16 Handles Frozen Yogurt that you're two yogurts away from getting the free yogurt and that location is closed down two years ago. And they don't know if they'll honor it in another location. Those went out of business. 16 Handles, like a lot of those yogurt, remember, you know, the whole frozen yogurt craze is kind of dialing back now. If you were smart, you would have switched from investing in yogurt shops to pokey. If you were slick. Ridge wallet. You need a nice, sexy wallet. It's a great conversation starter. People will be like, ooh, what is that? What kind of wallet is that? Oh, it's a Ridge wallet. You know, a little high tech. Maybe not for you. Play it. Play it close to the vest. Oh, don't worry about it. It's a Ridge wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. You know, the CIA uses it. Whatever. Not a big deal. It's, you know, you know. I'm telling you, it's a great way. Nobody's going to get laid taken out. I wish you could see my dad's wallet. If you saw my father's wallet, you would have known why he failed at everything. Not everything, but a lot of things. And uh, the wallet was just a fucking, it was like taking out a basket. He had sandwiches in it. He kept fucking a phone book in it. There was just cash, dollars, and fives, and probably not much more than that. Mounds of nothing. A whole bunch of money that added up to $17. It just made the wallet look fat and stupid. A fat wallet now means you're poor. It used to mean you're rich. Now it means you're broke. Cash means you're like broke now. You should have a little cash. A little, maybe $100 bill to roll up and do a line of cocaine off a hooker's ass. That is it. You do not need wads of cash. Well, you know, what are you, a fucking Tony Soprano? Ridge.com slash Tim, enter T-I-M in the description. Get 10% off the Ridge wallet. Don't be a fucking loser with a fat wallet, with everything falling out of it. You have nothing. You're no one if you carry around that wallet. Have a sleek, sexy Ridge wallet. Uh, so now we're heading into now. You had you have you ever had a wealthy friend? This is something I wanted to ask you. I've had. Have you ever a, had a rich friend? A rich. Have friend. you ever had someone that would let you in their home? I mean, have I, you I, ever had a friend with a brand new car? What is the? What is that from Annie? No, it's from uh, Fiddler on the Roof. Whatever. If I was a rich man, have you had a rich friend? Have you ever had a person that would introduce you to their parents and bring you in their home? I had friends who had more money than me. Uh, you know, they might have had an Super Nintendo and a Genesis. Uh, right, that's not exactly what I'm going all right, for. Well, I, I, did you have friends of, of wealthy means? I had a few friends in high school that were wealthier than not, but right. I'm, I'm talking about, you know what I want, baby. I want that real money. Yeah, why would they be friends with me? What, 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 why you do know, you even Ray, ask You need to start getting confidence. I, like, as an adult, became friends. I befriended men who I worked with who had money. Uh, they didn't really... I, need- listen, I kind of understand that because I had thought... People liked to good personalities. No one right. does, right. and no one cares if you're intelligent. That's almost they, a turn they off. always kind of like they always like say it as a kind of like yeah you're pretty intelligent, right? But it's never like right. And, right. and so here is some money. It's just no, like, no, not even that. Yeah, or like, like or like, why don't you come have dinner with us? Like, right. No one cares. It's always kind of like yeah you're really intelligent. You think you'd be better off. Like, you'd right. think you wouldn't be such a fucking loser. Right. That's always the vibe I get when people tell me I'm smart. Um, so, I mean, I have people... Like, here's the thing. Like, you know, there's different types of wealth. I know people who are pretty well off, who live in nice areas, who kind of work their way, way up there. And uh, I know people, you know, in the DJ business, I was for disappointed. And you, you would always told me. Yeah. And I never understood. You would always said... I said, maybe if I do, like, a Netflix and stuff... Maybe like rich people will start to befriend me, and you would always said you 
You looked at me like I was insane. Well, like, why would they want... I know. I yeah. didn't know. I thought they, they might think it was interesting. But it's like... That I had fought my way through comedy and... Uh, I was, but no one cares. The Nor same, should the they same care. Way, Nor look, should they the care. The same way that, like, when someone comes up to you after a show is a little too, like, familiar, and, like, you don't hate them. Either you're happy they're there, but it's a little like, ah, okay. Like, it's getting a little awkward now. That's, like, you're doing it in the reverse way. You're, like, you're but doing see, it good looking people get that all the time. Like, Ben, well, if Ben didn't have a fiance, Ben could make friends with really wealthy people because people just like good looking people he's not around. That good looking. He's all right. He's, a, he's, he's compared to us, he's better. Well, look, compared Much to better. us, a fucking otter getting fucked with a tree branch is better. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what are you talking hold about? on. I don't, I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think that's true at all. It might be more are you saying people would rather see an otter get raped? <laughs> no, Sodomized? Essentially fucked. I think ben, uh, I think Ben is good looking. I think most people that he's see him think he's guy. right, not, but he's not. I don't think well, he's. Got, I don't is, think he's got magnetic good looks that disarm the wealthy. I'm saying you put our personalities and and intelligence in his body. Can we do that? No, <laughs> dummy. Let's kill him anyway. But I'm <laughs> let's kill him and rape him anyway. <laughs> like we kill you and then Ray's like let's rape him. Like you didn't even think he was good looking. Ray's like, well, what are we gonna do with a warm dead body? <laughs> What are we going to do with that? We're going to waste it? My point is that I feel like if I was good looking, yeah. things would be better. Of course. Am I wrong? What, is water wet? What's your point? <laughs> I don't think people have a tolerance for fat people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I mean, look, why I do you don't think people why have a tolerance? Why do you think that, like, they do have to, Do you realize to, like, how rich you have to be? To be interesting, and if you're fat, like Lizzo had to be the biggest star in music for people to tolerate her because she's fat. Dude, you critique these people who like go on there and go like, "Yes, queen, whatever," and like the fat, like fat pride and all that. But like, that's the level of insane, like insane propaganda you have to do just to get people not to hate fat people. It's so and true. Hit them with rocks. It is true. You need to like convince them that they're like That's true. Beautiful. I'm on team fatty. It's like you got to aim for beautiful just to get people not to literally burn them at the stake. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's true. People, Dude, when I grew up, people hated fat uh, people. Repulsed by them. Hated them. And then no one hates a fat person more than a fat person. I know. No, do you ever have any fat friends? I never had any fat friends before you. Not really. Yeah, I mean, I, I never... I was like the idea of teaming I'm up to be with another famous fat person. just to make it okay th because I'm fat. That's right. the only thing I can do. Nothing is I've done multiple specials, multiple podcasts. You know, it's like there is nothing worse in the world. In this world, there's nothing worse than, a than two fat people teaming up. Yeah, that's true. Or a talentless, boring fat person. Oh god! If you are fat, you have to have anecdotes. You have to go into every room and start doing a jig immediately. You have to ben fucking... Ben can just sit around. That's why Ben kind of... Ben doesn't really have a personality. He's just kind of like... He's just kind of always tired. That's like his right. personality. He's always like tired, like he just woke up. But Jared and he Leto just can kinda, do that. I don't... My right, point is, he doesn't I don't have know. a personality either, probably. Right, but I don't know See, if the Ben other, has got you know, the tired looks. He has, the other side he has of, the looks of a guy... You just keep shitting on Ben. My <laughs> point is that... I'm just saying, there's levels to this shit. I know. He's, no one's thinking he's Jared Leto. The Jared Leto... Ben can't pull off like the dark brooding good looks where you can be a dick to everyone. Right. He doesn't have it like that. But he just has this thing where he's like sleepy and bashful. If me and you were sleepy not and bashful. Everyone likes twinks, Tim. They would tase us. Not everyone finds that. That is not like the marker, the social marker what that everyone. What do you think is good looking, Ray? Like dirty, disgusting, I fucking muscle people that saying, are all on steroids and have really, no dicks. He's really shy and he seems unsure of himself. I mean, he's very uh, my, charming. My point is that he doesn't seem to know. I love that you're insulted. Okay, you're good looking too, Ray. I'm not. I'm you're just, good looking too. I didn't mean that Ben was a... Ben is 300 pounds less than you Yes. and has a full head of hair. But I, what my point was right. that Ben doesn't have to have a personality and he doesn't. Like, yes. me and you have to fucking dance around. We have to fucking kid around. We have to fucking... We're all in the same minivan right now. We're all... <laughs> well, my you, point is... My point is that... <laughs> okay, we're going into Sans Point now. Uh, oh, nice. there's a cop giving someone a ticket. It doesn't seem that much nicer than my neighborhood. Why is there a cop giving someone a ticket? Well, we're not there yet, you fucking dumb This could fuck. be Deer Park. First of all, no, a it could A few more trees. First of all, no, it could A couldn't. few more trees. It could not be Deer Park. Right. Let's get that straight right okay. now. That guy's got a fucking nice uh, hat. 
Is We're not in a Sands a Point yet. Here we around. go. Right here. The village of Sands Point. Okay. You're going to feel a change. You feel a change, this Benjamin? Is a, this is a horse field. Yeah. That's okay. what rich people have. They have horses, you dumb fuck. All right. I don't, I don't, I might have been on the horse once. I can't remember. Uh, so here, okay. we're, we're, we're going to show Intributed. you all the castles. But oh, just stone castles. Yeah. Will you slow down? Is a winding road. You have one hand on the wheel. Can you, can we not die? All right. Look at this person jogging. Look at this fat mess jogging. This is what I mean. Look at this big pig. Uh, she's like, uh, like a third the size of us. I know, but she's still a big yeah. beefcake. <laughs> she's still a big beefcake. So here's Sands Point Preserve. Um, we're not. We're gonna go in there in a little bit. Oh, that's where. I, yeah, that's the castle. I think. Or no, man, my mom's bigger. I think actually. Yeah, but I'm just saying. Helen Keller. Oh, this is where Helen Keller was deft up and blind. She was uh, up in Sands Point. No. No. What, what, was it the Helen Keller School? So there's a lot of media types that live out here. A lot of big business people. This is the Great Gatsby. This is called the East Egg. Great Neck is the West Egg. The East Egg is the, uh, you know, the older money, whatever. So. We're going to go down here. Now the houses are starting to get nice. These are too big. You can see them. You can see they're starting to get... What are you going to do? Like you have an indoor tennis court? That sounds nice, Ray. I mean, I guess. It has, it has you walk in the house, you you spend $5 million, $10 million on the house, He's and people. you walk in and it smells like sweat. Nice. That's what well, I'm sure what it is. <laughs> These people have friends, right? Don't get angry <laughs> at them because they have parties and friends. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's too much, like, the hills are too steep in this road. The hills are alive with the I mean, look sound. Look how steep that driveway is. It's crazy. Yeah, but these are these are hills. These are This is you why. You might have to drive up that in the snow. Yeah, well, that is true. I guess we should just live in fucking Deer Park. I mean, look, it's flat, it's flat land. It's flat nice. land. Yeah, it is flat land. It's flat lands. The cops don't have to work hard when they pull you out of your house because you had a domestic. Imagine me dying in one of these houses. The, the headache <laughs> that would be. By the way. A lot of these people can imagine you dying in one of these houses because that's what would happen if you went in one of these houses. <laughs> you would be killed. Okay? See that on the hill, Ben? Yeah. See, these are... Tacky. Yeah, you're right, Ray. It's all tacky. It's a beautiful, classy spot. Okay? It's very nice over here. Yeah. I can't wait till the cops pull us over and they're like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> We're podcasting. You're like, cut this shit out. I mean, Sands Point, you know, you're looking at Four or five million dollar homes. You're looking at beautiful property. You know, it's really nice. nice. You know, this is a uh, my window a little bit. I want to see some of the, get some of this nice sand point air. No, it is nice. The air is nice. It's fresh. You got fresh. You got a fresh air. Here. And you know what it is, dude? There's no commercial establishments in Sands Point. There's no sidewalks in Sands Point. Yeah, it's just a maze of trees yeah. and mansions. I mean, this is really, it's real residential living. So, I mean, me and Ray were realtors and like we were taking somebody around in this yeah. minivan. They're like, why are you working with these two? And he'd be like, listen, their methods seem, uh, un it seems like unconventional, but these are the two best realtors on the North Shore of Long Island. The houses are very far away, and the <laughs> yeah. hills provide a sound buffering, so they can't hear the children Listen, scream. Mrs. What's your name, Mrs. Chang? Mrs. Chang, smell that, Mrs. Chang. That's the smell of grass. Yeah, not the smell of, a, of raped children. Right. <laughs> but yeah. you can do that too, Mrs. Chang. No, that's the point. It's like Anything you want. You're, you're far away. Out. You can spread your legs out. So here we go, right? Now, this is back there. What happens there? Who go? Who goes in that gate? Well, that's the Gatsby. Is that's, that? Why that's, part like of the da that's Daisy Buchanan's house or something. Why does it look like a fucking like, rape ca uh, cage? Because what do you think it is, right? Why do you think you make all this money? So you can eat Chateaubriand? <laughs> These people want to fucking have a little fun. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody's making it so here. You is that, do you think people, they hunt people here ever? I don't know. Probably. Why wouldn't they? I like so, be Ben, you see the water? No, you don't. I want you to see it. We see it. Okay. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. This is on the water. You get is a great right? view in New York City. You dumb fucks. This is all my friends live here. I grew up here. You didn't know anyone here. I do, you Ray. Never, you've never met anyone who lives in Sands Point. I do. About? I have not, actually. I've, I probably have met some of these people. See here? You can see the homes right on the water. These are $10 million yeah, states, I photographed right? Donald Trump one time. Where did you photograph Trump? And here's At Mafia. Trump, you can tell Mafia, oh, yeah. Ben. At the right Trump here. golf course when he was doing a press Ben, you can always tell Mafia House. You know? Terror, a lot of terracotta. Yeah, you're like, yep, yeah, mob. Mafia. Nothing wrong with that. They're just trying to make their bones. See, these are these are not... It's a are nice place to live. Are like rich? Yeah, right? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. How many people who were, like, who benefited directly from the Iraq War live oh, here? 
multiple people. Right. I mean, this is, you know, there are some people here that are, but no, this is, this is massive, like intergenerational wealth. <laughs> you the know. weird thing is, these houses are really like 10 million, 20 million. I mean, you want to see a crazy house? We're allowed on this? No. Is this even a road? No. Look, Ben, <laughs> see that? See that house? This is like a cobble. What is that place? It's a fucking modern house. Really? Yeah. Did Elf, or Elf Waldo Emerson make that or something? Yeah, that's what or happened. Frank Lloyd Wright, whatever. CDC. Center for Disease Control? Yeah. Probably what it is. They probably, they probably invented AIDS here. That's where Ray was born. <laughs> <laughs> Ray was born on Plum Island. <laughs> Ray's like, I was born on an island called Plum. <laughs> I swam to shore. I had a rib sandwich, a riblet patty, <laughs> with melted American cheese. It was keto. <laughs> I said, no sauce. There was a little residual. <laughs> There's a little. By the way, what he describes as a little residual is like a, a, a vat of sauce. <laughs> a little residual. Just a little residual. <laughs> it's okay if that had some residual. You got to get Rayo sauce if you want a keto, right? They have three grams of sugar, no oh, really? extra sugar. That's, yeah. That seems, but aren't tomatoes no good? No, you can have tomatoes. You can have tomatoes on keto. Really? Yep. I've always been told no. Well, who's telling you, Ray? I'm, Do I'm Dr. Dealing. Atkins. Shut up. He doesn't know anything about keto. It's, it's not the same it's, diet. Atkins is keto. No, it's about? not. It's What's not. What's the difference? Keto is a little stricter. It's a little different. What? Yeah, I'm telling you. What, what can you eat at Atkins you can't eat on keto? I don't really know, but I think it's bullshit. Atkins I'm, is- I think more you can have more vegetables and stuff on Atkins. I mean, the, whole, the whole idea of Atkins was ketosis. I mean, call it keto. Like all these guys calling it keto, and like you're all rebranding. Can you look at the houses, please, nice. you fat fuck? All right. And enjoy. Let's get some bacon. We're gonna eat later. Just enjoy. <laughs> this is a nice treat for everyone. <laughs> They're having a party here. You know, oh, like let's ask them what they do. Uh, We're here. Bit. Ask them if they work in the defense industry. Don't do it. They'll call the police and do it. <laughs> Just wave. Wave to the van. It said team something. That means that there's... <laughs> team torture. <laughs> team torture. They have tie-dye shirts. It's like <laughs> team torture. And they're going into a house. And they're going to sacrifice a child. <laughs> it's Sunday, baby. I've never seen this many cars. Yeah, this is a problem. I bet you this is a big event. It's a big political event or something. Yeah, Joe Biden's gonna fucking Joe Biden's out here. Wouldn't it be great if Joe's here? (laughs) Dude, how great would it be if Joe's in there just saying the (laughs) N-word? Listen, we all hate beep. I work for a (laughs) beep. That uppity beep. Uh, Try to tell me what to do. Uh, so uh, we've left Sands Point now. We're no, no we're Sands still Point. in it. Okay, so what was that called? That was just the reserve. No, that's one of the roads, reserve. right? You know, that's, that was just the road. That yeah. felt like a, that felt like a weird, like a wildlife preserve, but for rich people. That's probably what it was. I mean, they, no, I mean, like you're like, oh, you are rich people. Like when America is no longer, they'll still they'll still be living there. They'll be okay. And you observe them living in their natural, like their rich habitat. Yeah. <laughs> take take a tour around there. Right. Like you'll get to win that if you if you if you uh, salvage enough rats in the uh, in the great rat competition they have in New York City. In the great rat competition in New York, kids will City. have to like you know scour for rats. And the how's guys, the sound, Ben? Is the sound okay with the windows open? Great. The kid, the, more, the kid who gets the most rats gets to witness poor people. Uh, I mean, rich people. I don't know. If you were running for president, right? <laughs> tell me how, how it happened. Look, here's what we're gonna do. We got everyone wants to tax the rich. I don't want to tax, but we pick ten percent of the rich at random, and we seize their assets. Okay, interesting. Right. You could still be wealthy. This, this America is built on gambling. Yes, that's what we are. We're gambling. It's really what it is. It's really you came on the Mayflower. It was a fucking gamble. It was a risk. You know, I mean, yeah, you bought slaves. That was a little more of a sure thing, I guess. Uh, but they could have gotten sick. They could have gotten sick. So, Absolutely. You know, uh, the health of your slaves is a gamble. You pay, Many people in America gambled on the health of their slaves. You pay. That's you, what this country was built on. You finance a Buying war. Buying a slave and not knowing if they were healthy or not. Yeah. yeah. You finance a war. Uh, you know, maybe it's Vietnam and you guys get fucked even though you sell a lot of helicopters. Who knows? So the point is, we pick 10% of you fuckers. And yeah, maybe you get got. We, we murder you. See and, the houses, Ben? See the homes in the back? See that? 
We put a guillotine on the Washington Monument. It drops down. These are we really kill some rich wild. kids and rich families uh, for all to see. And then, but ninety percent of the wealthy get to keep it. And then, you so know, here to the right, take a look here. That uh, that right there is one of the Gatsby houses. Gatsby wasn't a real thing, right? Shut the fuck up. It was a up. book by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Dumb fuck. It was Pull over here. An actual Gatsby house. So this is West Egg. This is East Egg. You oh. fucking degenerate. Well, didn't Gatsby live in West Egg? You got to make a left here, and then you got to exit Sands Point, and then instead of coming down here. You're going to make, you take, just We're turn about to be around. Murdered. You can go We're about to be road, shot. Right up. This guy's asking for directions. But right up to Middle Neck Road. He's just here to distract us. Sands Point, and then we're going to be like executed from the other so, side. So take it all the way uh, back. We're not going to hear it. It's going to be silence pistols. Maybe a knife Sands right to my neck. Um, yes, this is Middle Neck Road. You take it all the way back. Uh, this is like that guy, point. you've heard the story. When the guy was like, hey, is that the Empire State Building? And then he starts stabbing you. Like, that's what this is right now. We are about to be swarmed. Thank you. This is no good. No good. That guy was just getting a look at us. So here's this is the Hearst Castle. Oh, really? It used to be. They owned all the major. Wait, is it the Citizen Kane building? Yeah, they, they owned printing press presses. They owned all the press. This used to be the old Hearst Castle right here. That was the entrance to it. This is what Xanadu. Okay. Is it? Uh, is this the model for Xanadu? I don't know. Okay. When you from Citizen Kane? Okay, this is a private road. We probably will go to jail now. Yeah. But this is uh. The head of Arizona Ice Tea. Oh, Wendy? Lives around here. Wendy lives here? Yeah, right in this house. Right there. Oh, wow. Can't even see the house. I know. Let's get in there. <laughs> we'll get this shot. There's a, there's like a dead end and just like, you know, cobblestone streets. The car's beeping now. I think, they, I think that old guy put a bomb in our car. <laughs> We're about to get blown up. Hearst, look at the hearse castle. <laughs> oh, no, we're going over the curb. Jesus oh, Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh, God, look at it. There's a bomb. God. What are you it's doing? Like Slow road. down. Ted hit a bomb and blame it on us. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> this is class. <laughs> See? Is that, is that a Tudor mansion? No, Tudor is brick. All right. Now, here is what... What's that cross all about? Is that a crusade castle? This is this is so now this is why you buy a house like this. Which this is what road bro seems seems smells, smells terrible. Take in the a world. look to the right. Look at that view, Ben. You see that? Oh, it looks like New York City looks like a That's, shadow. It's not even that great. I have a better first, view from I have a better view from my roof. First of all, you ball of diabetes. <laughs> that is the cover of the Great Gatsby book, Ray. Uh, read books. Oh, look at this person. Oh, God. A fucking Imagine asshole. if you killed that guy. I should. Uh, fuck we'd be. I should kill him. That guy looks like shit. That does. <laughs> There's always a you in a sand spawn, right? <laughs> the guy There's some guy. The guy yeah. invented, I've been living here before. It was cool. The guy who invented Velcro. This is a big perv. Yeah, this is the this is the North Shore. The beaches suck. They're rocky. You know, the water is tepid. It's not, you know, it's fresh water because it's a Long Island Sound. Here to the left. Look at that, Ben. That's that, that, I think that's sold for like 12 mil. Just, that's the thing. Just 12 mil. The people who live here have so much more than 12 million probably, right? I know, but, you know. You, like, I, I feel like I could get 12 million somehow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but put it this way, buddy. You can't. Now, you, I'll I, tell you this. You can't. I've always, uh, I've, I've taken your tour uh, a bunch of times. Yeah. Uh, you talk about the, the building like the Dakota and how yes. you get a Brinks truck full of financial records. Yeah. Is there a similar process to move into a No, like I this? mean, listen, you just got to buy the fucking house. That's it. There's no That's community. Uh... No, dude, people were coming in here too with like jacked up mortgages and shit. Oh, really? Yeah, they were getting, you know, people were, I mean, they were buying, they were getting jumbo loans. You know, the jumbo market was loans, I think they were over 629000 That was a conforming limit. Oh, okay. So, you 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 know, you look how big that flagpole is or that flag. If yeah. you, you know, listen, you could, uh, you could get in here for a relative. You would think those loans would be harder to sell the banks. It'd be harder to like to make a Well, they a had to show a lot more. Yeah, they had to show a lot more reserves. They had okay. to show a lot. But it was still I mean, still listen, also, these houses, dude, are really nothing compared to the Hamptons. Oh, it's got a little lake here. It's nice. Like the Hamptons, if you go out to the Hamptons, yeah. don't, don't, forget it. Right. I mean. They, I mean, this is like nothing compared to the head. The Hamptons are. Yeah. It's it's like you'd be like, is that a hotel? No, that's a home. Right. You know. I mean, this is pretty. This is pretty. Uh, 
But it's nice. I used to we used to smoke pot and drive around here because there was nobody ever around here. And they, and they don't seem to have a private police force that's visible. They do. I mean, there was somebody pulling somebody over. They do. You got to be a little careful with them. Right. Um, that guy's th- just watering his own hedges. It looks like. Yeah, I mean, the people here are a little down to earth. I think. I mean, yeah. in their minds. Yeah. <laughs> I water a hedge. <laughs> I water a hedge. <laughs> I'm not too good for water. So where are, are we lost? We're not lost. All right. So now we're going to show you. The problem more- is when you also, when you get, I've noticed when you get up here to the North Shore, your cell phone just stops working. Yes. And like you can't Sprint even. does not even have service. They don't have yeah. service. Yeah. You can't, you can't be like trying to go to like somebody's houses sometimes. Maybe not in Sands Point per se, but kind of next level down maybe. And like I, they, they, I would come into their home to photograph a party. And uh, yeah, like you get lost. You can't even GPS. No, you. they, they don't. They're, they're, no, they want you out. Yeah. They want you out. They could put a cell tower in here. They won't. They're, they're not going to put a cell tower in here. Look at this guy just walking. A lot of people just walk on the side of the road you here. You should be walking against traffic. That's the way I learned in the Boy Scouts so that you can see cars and jump out of the way if you have to. This is Sands Point Road. We're trying to find Sands Light Road here. What's on there? Is that a, well, that's when you see some. Is that where you're going to kill me? We, yeah, that's where we're going to take you. That's when you're going to see some bananas homes. Mm hmm. And I just don't know. This is where John Mac- no, he lives in the Oyster Bay Cove area, right? Yeah, that's also nice. It's also nice. Yeah, um, I've been to John McEnroe's home. I mean, outside of it. I, why I, were you? Well, I knew me. We knew a kid, a guy I worked with who at the. Can prison. you can you just Google Ray Sands Light Road on your well, phone? Let's see if I have a fucking connection. You'll have a connection. You fat see, slob. Usually not in this area. Where's my phone? I'll tell you one thing. I'm glad we grew up how we grew up. Yeah, I mean, would you really want to have this monkey on your back? This, yes, this yes, yes. The the answer is yes, I would. You have to live up I to it. I was clearly being facetious. No. I was clearly kidding when I said I'm glad we grew up with boomer parents who fed us poison. I, I feel like I'm more adjusted, though. Like I understand you how are. the world You're, works. And most people would feel that way, too. <laughs> and understanding how the world works has gotten us a lot. Yeah. It's so been a real big Google? benefit. Sands Light Road. It's been a real big benefit to us. Oh, so learning you directions, you mean? Yeah, well, I just want to show you this one little part of it, and then we can head to the cider mill, and we can get you some cider for the keto. I'm not drinking some goddamn cider. Why are you not having cider? There's tons of sugar in it. Ray, it's keto. I Yes, exactly. Ray, I put a week into this body, perfecting this Ray, body. Ray, you, you, have you had the crumb pie? No. Ray, it's keto. I, it's not keto. It's full Ray, of crumbs. Ray, <laughs> it's not. Ray, the crumbs are keto. They're keto crumbs. Oh, God. This is why we're still fat. <laughs> you always act like, you know, oh, when I, when I say, yeah, I was running five miles a day, then I met Tim. You're like, you got fat in your own. And Ray, yeah, I think, you want, when were I you I take responsibility. F- but my point is, you like, every night, no one let's go to Taco Bell. Let's go to the fucking... Ray, you also wanted to go to Taco Bell. I agree. I'm not saying it's you your fault. You were never running. You ran for a while, then stopped running. I didn't tell you to stop running. I know. I'm just saying right, that you're a bad police. influence. Here's are we pulled over? No. No. No, it's the police department. Oh. Where, so, the mansion? I guess so. Can you find Sam's I'm, I've got to turn my location services on. God. Oh, God. It's my fault. Taco Bell is a great... That's the only fast food I care about. Yeah. You know? You got into trouble over that. Why? Didn't you get like kicked off Uber for like yelling at a Uber? Yeah, I attacked the ta- Uber guy because <laughs> he wouldn't take me to Taco Bell because he's being a dick. So Sands Light Road. He's being a dick. Sands Light Road. It shouldn't be that hard to it's find. It's in Port Washington. No, it's not. Well, maybe it is. Maybe they call this. Maybe they call this uh, Port Washington. Hey, yeah, hold on. Half an hour away. No, it's you're 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 out of your mind. It's literally. Hold on. I I think we're almost here. Ray 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 is completely out of his mind. I mean, I'm I'm going by Google. It's not that we're. I think no. It's not. Oh, wait, hold on. Sands Light Road. You went to Sands Point Lighthouse. No. Oh, yeah, hold on. Okay. Thir- no. Thir- Ray, yeah. Ray, we're on our way. I think we're here. I think I can. Well, I'm gonna tell you. It's telling me. Look, Sands Point Road. I'm not an idiot. Well, I'm telling you. I know how to get where. Well, they go. I feel the way the the wealthy under. I understand the wealthy and the wealthy understand me, and that's why I've been able to. You got a low jack in your ass. That's exactly right. Yeah. Uh. I think I'm in the wrong spot, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's probably wrong. I'm telling you, Google's telling me a half hour away. It's not that. No, it's right around here, right? Mm-hmm. I, I mean, you, 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 you're not. It says Sands Point Road, Sands Light Road, Sands Point, New York. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. 
and it's a half hour away. We're in Sands Point. I mean, I don't know the how whole big thing this town is, is the size it's, it's of a, a goddamn fucking... maze. It's like playing Metroid. You know, you know they don't look the same. All these fucking houses. Oh, big mansion. Oh, big mansion. Very oh, nice. big mansion. Very nice. Very nice. That's <laughs> how we sell houses as realtors. <laughs> we use reverse psychology. <laughs> oh, you live here. You want a big mansion? <laughs> That's the road, I think. Cornwell's Beach Road, I think, is the road. Oh, Cornwell's Beach Road, not Sands Light Road. Cornwell oh, takes you I'm to the Sands. Asshole. Cornwell's takes you to Sands, you fat slob. <laughs> were, you, were you a real man? You want a mansion? Oh, here it is. Maybe this is it. Wait, the road we were already on? I'll tell you right now. You, Tim just started to turn off, didn't you? Know, oh, here it is. That's, I'll You're tell already you right on now, the road. Everything I've done, I've done for the Lord. <laughs> here it is. I should never doubt myself. I always know what real money is, and I should never Prospect ever. Prospect Lane. That's that's ironic. I should never Banker ever. Or something road. Really, that's funny. I should never look at these houses, Ben. This ben, this is the big money. Ben. That's too steep of a goddamn driveway. Right. If you bring up the steep steep driveway again, <laughs> I'm going to throw you out. Can is, is there any kind of community center in this town? <laughs> <laughs> Basketball court. Community center. So here's where we're going to get to the straight I up. mean, what if you want to go get like a pack of cigarettes or a taco? Like you have to fucking It's in their home. You send your maid to do it. Now, Ben, look. Take, I want Ben to see some wealth. Take a look, Ben. They're not happy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not happy. They don't understand. See, Ben, see through the hedges. Can you see it? You can't see it. I see stuff. Oh, it's like a field. Well, this is a... This is what's playing. It's blah. It's not blah, there's a the beautiful home. It was over a there. batting cage. Nice. Okay. We'll see it on Google Image later. <laughs> Slow. Children playing. I don't see children playing. I've seen a child here all day. What are they talking about? See these men? This is the real money. See this? It's real money. Yeah, they're that proud of their house. They let you see it from the street. It's a good you know what, Ray? I don't entirely disagree with you. I actually don't entirely disagree. <laughs> no, but they, you know, they they want privacy and everything, but sure. hey Tim, roll my window. I don't know why your window was rolled down, Ben. Your window should not be down. Your comfort is not paramount. You're working. Okay? Fat ass. Ray's right. You are disgusting. <laughs> you are gross. Did you not get any wind on these mics? No. It's like, See, take a look. Take a look. Window. See this? Yeah, it's just like a marina. Like in, like, you know, fucking patch or something. Ray, I know that you're not impressed by anything. Ben grew up in Texas in a bag of Fritos. All right. Like I was in the on the ocean a month ago. It's fine. What is this? This, this, this is a, a wicker fence, like a wicker basket. What is this? They're like shaped like stalks of hay, of wheat. Oh, this is where this is nice actually. It's it'd be nice. nice. Yeah, it'd be nice if it didn't say no parking. Yeah, that I know. It's very, it, it really does kind of ruin it. Hacky. These people it does kind of ruin it. You know who's gonna park here anyway? Who's gonna get blown over here? Some guy's blowing his babysitter. Wouldn't it be funny if my aunt's car broke down and we had to explain to her why we were <laughs> all the way in Sands Point? I would probably just block every one of my family and get out of here <laughs> instead of explaining why we were in this wealthy area. First, we get some drugs, throw them in the car first, and then... You know, right. <laughs> throw some coke, frame my aunt, <laughs> frame my aunt. But it is, you know, listen, man, there's something about living by the water, dude. I got to be honest. You know, it's a beautiful way to live. You yeah, I mean, Hurricane Sandy, though. These, these houses are probably a suspect. I mean, that's true, but a lot of these people really kind of like natural disasters. Right, they make a lot of money. You though. know, they yeah. enjoy them. You know, because they're like, yeah, our house got fucked, but then a million other houses got fucked, yeah. you know? They call it the suck fund. <laughs> the suck fund. You're sucking and fucking. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Raymond. I'm the new tutor. <laughs> knock on one of the doors. I'm the new tutor. I'm here to teach the kids. And it's not just Asians. I'm very good, actually. I'm here to teach them the humanities. And Chemistry. Uh, fucking. It's a beautiful house. What kind of berries? Do you think those are like expensive berries in the trees? Why don't you go eat one see if you collapse? <laughs> what is this fenced off? What is this, The Hobbit? What is this? It's like a, like a stone fence. Like a cobbles. Let's just go in their driveway, see what happens. I mean, you know what? If I had a license, I would. <laughs> I really would. I'm not kidding. If I had a license and I was in my car, I would. I love the idea that we're just driving. We're like, we're almost definitely going to get pulled over at some point and would get away with it if you had a license. Well, I don't think we're going to get pulled over, right? First of all, people know who I am Like when they see me. They've seen you on the, they understand. the comedy knockout or they whatever. They understand. 
I've been on True TV. <laughs> it's fun when somebody meets a celebrity, you know. Oh, so officer, I know him from Live at Gotham. Hey, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> you see, like, they pull over this drunk guy. He's got a hooker. And they're like, don't worry, I saw him on premium blend. Don't worry about it. This guy was great. Let's just hit that guy. <laughs> Why not? He's probably done bad things. Yeah. <laughs> it's all over, sir. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if we just looked at him and went, this is for Asia. <laughs> Chat him. This is for the kids. This is for what you did at Koala Lumpur. <laughs> he just nods knowingly. He just nods. He accepts his fate. <laughs> that was Sans point. What's everyone think? Uh, a little tacky. Uh, I don't think it's worth all the war crimes. Um, that's a good point. I mean, it seems like a little mu- like. Is this really like? I pictured like. Look, I'm not a fucking. You know, a little. Uh, Here comes Ray, Ray, heart. Ray's about to say something that doesn't need. To be, I thought you were going to say like, I'm not a rich class of man. No, like, I don't want to be the bleeding heart here, but like. You know, like if you kill one guy to get a mansion, yeah, right. But I mean, like starting a, f- yeah, I run the cops in the minivan, you bike, got on a bike, stop sign, stop sign. Relax. Jesus Christ! Try not to peel rubber. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I'm I f- talking. I can't. I don't want to raise the mic. So. I feel like, uh, you know, I, I can see killing, you know, robbing a bank, killing a guy to get some money. But I mean, to start a fake war. I think you would get more than this. More than, like, you know, a little privacy and a house by the water. I mean, just, like, thousands of, millions of Cambodian kids dead. And, like, oh, but I can fish off my dock. And, uh, and, like, you know, it just doesn't seem like enough. Right, they have multiple properties, right? And you have to realize a lot of those houses you didn't see, they were beautiful. The hedges were very nice. nice. They're nice. You've never even seen the inside of them. They're gorgeous. All right, but, like, a million Don't judge genocide until you've been in the kitchen. I'm just saying, like... You've never been in a house that's exposed barn style, and the kitchen is beautiful and has a very high ceiling. Oh. What's exposed barn? Is that like a... You know, like with the beams and everything? It's it fucking nice. nice. Like a little cathedral inside. Yeah. All right. Oh, I, I got it, goddamn mouth. Was this guy smoking a cigarette like a cool guy? Oh, you're a cool guy? <laughs> <laughs> you're being a cool guy? <laughs> Start screaming. I out. mean, honestly, this looks like Long Island Avenue right now in Deer Park. This does not look nice. Well, once you get out of this, you're out of this. These people get in an escalade, roll the windows up, and they don't look they don't look out the window again until they're in their office in Midtown. Right. I mean, it, it seems so far from even the LAE that's like an extra 45 minutes to get home. Look Why at this they build their little enclave closer to the LAE? I used to suck off this guy who was like a young kid. He was like 20, and he worked at a dairy barn around here. And his family also worked in dairy barns. They were like a dairy barn family, Whoa. but they had pride in it. And it was the saddest thing ever. There's nothing sadder than a whole family who works at a shitty job. I know a guy who worked at a dairy barn who got shot in the face and died. Like he's like, yeah, I work at dairy barn because my dad does. It's like, oh, that's not the way that's supposed to work. But I ever tell you this, the guy at the dairy barn by me, he got killed, shot in the face one night no, at dairy barn. Why? Someone was robbing the dairy barn. Can you roll my window up? I, I have child locks on my goddamn window. Why was somebody rolling? Why was somebody? So somebody just shot him in the face? Yeah. Well, did he get loud or something? I Maybe he didn't want. Maybe he said, like, oh, do you need all the money? Or, like, please. Yeah. yeah. Start to, you know, Long Island, <laughs> wise ass dairy barn guy. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do with this money? <laughs> oh, you got what? 300 bucks? What are you going to buy a house? <laughs> Tough guy. <laughs> He probably deserved it. He deserved getting some lead in his face. And this is the marina we saw before. It's a yeah. it's a schlocky marina. It's like it's like anything you see in fucking uh, you know Lindenhurst or Patchog. It's just a not a big nothing. Look at that shitty boat. Look Fuck these people. Shit. Look at that shitty boat. <laughs> what a shitty boat. I'm not impressed by the rich. I'll tell you that much. I'm not it, impressed. I'm not impressed. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I don't give a shit about nothing. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care what you do. That woman looks nice. Uh, she was elderly, right? <laughs> she was an elderly woman. I think she had Anne, uh, Anne Margaret and Grumpy Old Men. Would you? How, what's the oldest you go? I mean, I did hook up with a 53-year-old once. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. Explain the circumstances of that. We were both just drunk and trashed at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think we, we were both just like, you know, we, uh, What bar? Uh, it was some bar up on like, oh God, it was like, we ended up on, it was when I was over living in like Holbrook and like, it was on Portion Road, I think. 
Yeah, uh, what kind of woman was she? She wasn't. She was a slender woman. Uh, had a, a big tuft of hair, a big, a big matted hair, a big, like a Jerry Curly kind of vibe. Uh, not bad. I show people. I have a picture of her. Like uh, when we were playing pool. I'm sure she was a beautiful we were woman. Playing pool. <laughs> she wasn't bad. She had a nice body. Uh, and uh, she kicked me out in the morning because I was snoring. Um, but you know, we we ended up, we made love. Uh, you, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, you made love. Well, I don't know if I actually can perform. We're pretty drunk. Okay, but, uh, well, I you think just I collapsed. You, yeah. <laughs> and, like, and I woke up two hours later. She's like, "You have to go." And then, uh, I mean, we, we at one you point see we were, who collapsed. Wait a minute, hold on. I didn't collapse, but we were like, "Who's Marianne Dalamonte, <laughs> Democrat for town council?" This is bad. Hey, Marianne. <laughs> we should call her. <laughs> I mean, we have hey, Mary Ann, shit is fucked up here. <laughs> Can you fix this? Laffy, Laffy Real Estate. Hey, Mary Ann, I tried to buy a house. <laughs> Some guy told me $900,000. What place, are you fucking nuts, this Mary place, Ann? This place is called I Love Hearing. It's got yeah, I, I, I Love Hearing. hearing. What, is, what is this place? Dude, that's how we market goods and services now. It's just things you should be able to do. I love walking. Oh, wait, I want to go to I love walking. You want the windows back down? It's very it's like a hot box in here. I love walking. Also, well, I mean, just undo the child lock then. Just goes. This is the regular episode. Anyway. Well, no, it's a fire well, chief. Well, there's yeah, cops everywhere. We get, listen, we get we're gonna be afraid of cops. Uh, Stop being a cunt, man! You we, pussy bitch. It's called logistics. Uh, yeah, when I, when I met her at one bar. I think she had been cut off. I was pretty drunk, and then she wanted some of my beer, and I gave her some. <laughs> and then, like when we like actually go, I want to get out of here. I'm like, yeah, sure. And then she's like, oh, we got to my car. She's like, oh, I forgot my shoes. She's barefooted. I realized at this moment. And I'm like, where are your shoes? She's like, ah, they're inside somewhere. And like, I think she had one of them. And so I went in. And I'm like, they already kind of kicked her out. Or they were really happy she was gone. I'm like, has anyone seen her shoe? She's missing a shoe. And they're like, what? No. And like, they're very. Un- I went in the garbage. I couldn't find it in the garbage. So you were looking for her shoes in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> you were <laughs> looking for this woman's shoes in the garbage. Well, I mean, I was trying to be a nice guy. Yeah. But uh, then I gave up. Like, well, then I came back. They don't have your shoe. And we just left. And we went to uh, some other bar. Some other bar. She doesn't have and shoes. She told me, you better buy drinks this bar. But she ended up buying all the drinks, I think. Now, what? What season was it? What month? Uh, I think it was like the fall. Um, or, okay, so or she's spring. shoeless in the fall. Yeah, maybe the spring. Maybe the spring. I don't think it was summer. Okay. <laughs> and you go to the next bar and she buys all the drinks. Yeah, I mean, maybe I, maybe I bought one round. I don't know. She How did you know she was 53? Uh, I think she told me. Um, now, at what point do you decide that you and her are going to go home? No, I met her. Well, I mean, I didn't decide that, but I, mean, like, I, mean, I didn't. Oh, what point? I kind of thought we were going home. Oh, we got to my place for... We went back to my place at one point. My was Mari there, the cat? Well, yeah. Well, she came in. She's like, this place smells like cat piss. And I'm like, well, you, you ain't wrong. Because, you know, I, I could have changed his litter box more often, I'll admit. Right. Um. So you went, she, you so went we, into that. And I, thought we were, I thought it was done, so. I thought we were like, oh, that's it. No, right. no, no one's getting laid tonight. But uh, she's like, let's just go to my place. And so we did. And okay. we... Uh, she had a nice. I mean, maybe her son just died or something. I don't know because she seemed to have like a nice house and like she didn't see. It was much nicer than you would think. It wasn't like a rundown, shitty house. It's a nice house in somewhere like in Smithtowny or whatever, Merkakama, and like it was well kept. We danced to Van Morrison before we uh, got into bed. What song? I forget. Probably like girl. Probably. Jesus. Maybe, maybe it was a. Uh, I mean, the dance. visuals of this are so <laughs> harrowing. I mean, this is a horror film. <laughs> this is an absolute horror film. I mean, that is a scene in a horror film that's talked about over and over. People are like, did you see where they were dancing a brown eyed girl right before it collapsed? I mean, I can't even imagine. I mean, you're like, what was the worst part of it? Oh, uh, the bloodletting? No, <laughs> not even that. No, the torture scenes? No. They danced a brown eyed girl. <laughs> Where were you dancing? In the kitchen. Oh, God. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, you know, I, you know, we got undressed and we got in the bed. And then, uh, you can't remember what happened. Well, I remember. I remember not you know, getting erect. Uh, a, lot, a lot of whiskey, a lot of drinking. And then what happened? I mean, I fell asleep. And then the next thing I know, 
she's waking me up. She's yelling at me. You gotta go. You have to go. Oh, and I'm like, oh, romantic. And like, yeah. <laughs> nice. And then like, so I'm like, and I'm rushing out the door like it's a movie. Maybe she's she like, was married. Maybe, but she was like, oh, you don't have to go that fast. Like I'm like, I'm like hopping around, like trying to get my pants on. Okay. And uh, oh, what a sweet lady, huh? Yeah. Well, look, I mean, maybe if I got, if I'd given her a nice, uh, a nice bit of pipe, right. maybe she would have been a little less uh, agitated about my snoring or whatever. So then you don't keep in touch with her. I did not. We don't. I didn't get her yearbook. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I probably find her, but the, on on that path that night, the bar we went to, they seemed to know who she was. She was a regular. Oh, I'm sure drunk. they did. Uh, she was dancing. We were dancing at one point in the bar. Uh, with she had no shoes. To what song? I think just some Miley Cyrus song or something. Yeah. Uh, we were playing pool. I was like doing the thing where I was holding her waist, like while she's teaching her how to play pool. I don't oh know. God! <laughs> I'm thinking of a montage of this. It just ends with 9/11. <laughs> Like somehow you guys made nine eleven happen. I mean, I'm teaching least, her how to play pool and dance with a brown eyed girl. Next thing I know, building seven two towers fire. in New York City fell. <laughs> Next thing I know, there's goddamn planes <laughs> flying in the fucking buildings. She wakes me up. She says, "Get up, get up. We're at war. The country's at war." <laughs> Turn this my window. Now we're on the road. I mean, yeah. Look, I mean, she was a sweet lady. I don't. I. I. I, I think you like fondly. cider. You like apple cider. Yeah. Apple good. cider. Look, it makes you shit badly. Well, it doesn't. It, uh, makes it goes black, right through you. It makes black people shit and my friend's mother. What does that mean? Meaning that they have a sensitive system to apple juice. Apple juice makes me shit. Okay. It's well, very... Uh, that might be a thing. Yeah. It's because it's like... I, I'm not sure. It's, it's got a lot of fiber. Ben has never been to Jeremy's Ale House in Freeport. Have you been there, Ray? Uh, I don't think so. It's great. Apple juice has a lot of fiber and so does cider. And so that that's part of the... The whole the ball game when it comes to shitting is having a lot of fiber, liquid fiber inside you. I have to do shows tonight at the stand. I really don't even want to. There's a nice country club band in the left. Which was this? I don't know. Sands Point Country, something like that. Maybe it's North Hills. I forget. Yeah, I don't even want to do show. Like, dude, I do shows in New York. It's just rich people, you know? It's just wealthy young people. And you're like, oh, I'm kind of. You're like, I'm barely. I'm like, not as excited. Like, like what do you do? And it's like, oh, I market. You know, uh, my new roommate is a jewel sales person. Like, 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 someone who sells jewel stuff. You mean the vape? Yeah, but like, not like not they they work at a bodega. Like they like like a corporate salesperson or something. Okay, so you know, and they're living with you. They must be doing well. I mean, we got a nice new place. It's nice. Yeah. So you have a so you and Lucy, and then him. It's a woman. Oh yeah. What's her deal? Uh, I don't. I mean, she seems. Um, she wanted to get a dog. We told her she couldn't. Um, I, she might try to screw us to get a dog anyway. And I'm, I'm I don't want to kill a dog. I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna hurt a dog. But you know, I, is there anything I could do to like yeah, screw not move her? in with someone who's hell bent on getting a dog? Well, no, she ironed uh, that out up front. She that would agreed, be what you could Well, we do. didn't have any power. We'd already put the deposit down. And she came in. She. It's not like it was our place, and she like we recruited her. You know, it's like so. Wait, oh, you moved into her place. No, we both it's an, building, it's an apartment building. Yeah, so shouldn't you have sat down and had a little meeting of the minds about pets before we did? You- and she said, if we agree, agreed, she wouldn't get a dog. I was just worried that she's gonna break her because, like, we got there and in the lease, it's like written in like she can she can have a dog. And I'm like, what's this all about? Like, you know, because she cause she'd gotten there before us, and it was like, is she gonna get a dog? And, and, and like, and she, she's trying to like back end the deal here, and she's like, no, because the lease says you can't have dogs, but you're actually allowed to. So she said she wouldn't get a dog. So I wrote, I wrote in and made Lucy sign, you know, this whole thing of like, we do not want a dog. But I don't know. It, it, I'm just wondering if there's any tactics I could use to, if she, if she tries to screw us to get a dog, is what I'm saying. Throw her like stuff in the garbage. I mean, I love that it's already a war. How long have you been living? <laughs> well, she's not, I mean, right now we're nice. We're but nice. you're just anticipating a war. I'm always anticipating a war. I'm yeah. always predicting. Like, we war. got a roommate. She sells a jewel. I'm getting ready to throw her shit out because <laughs> she might get a dog. What else could I do? Smear some blood on her door? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm always prepared. How did you meet this person? The building you know, recruited her. <laughs> they recruited her and you and Lucy? <laughs> Whatever. You know, they, uh... I don't even understand this. They're like, 
Hey, you can move in here, but you gotta live with this fat guy and his chick. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I come into the apartment. You like it? I live here. Don't get a fucking dog. I'll beat the shit out of you. I'll fucking kill you. And the dog. All right. I mean, it's it's amazing to me. <laughs> Look, I wanted a nice place to live finally. It's not that nice, but I mean, you know, we have a refuse room and uh, we have a place to put our garage. You know, it's nice. Yeah. You, know, so you ever have seen this like a room where you just throw the garbage in? No. You have a chute and like the recycle goes in the, It's just a room and you're, like, you don't have to go outside. It's nice. It's one of these buildings. It's got a gym in the basement. It's nice. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, when you're in Brooklyn, you're enjoying it there? In Brooklyn, I'm enjoying it. My roof is wonderful. I was talking to you the other day on the phone. I was looking at the Freedom Tower. Oh, good Oh, good for you, lovely. Ray. It was a nice view. I was there last night. I was at the 9-11 mall. You oh, know yeah. that mall we've been to? Oh, yeah. The uh, yeah. strange... They built that out of the... Car, like, <laughs> the, the that whole thing is built from repurposed parts of the buildings. The, yeah. The, yeah, I mean, I it's like I, a whale carcass. It's really it's a it's a joke that you'd make, and somebody would tell you not to be inappropriate. And it's then the reality is, it's legitimately a mall. Yeah, you'd be you'd be literally at the like the, the old old memorial site when they're reading the names back in like oh three. Yeah, and you'd be like, yeah, in five years there's gonna be a Prada here. Yeah, you're like shut up, shut up, right? No, like, but, stop. <laughs> now, now it's exactly what it is. Yeah. Patrice O'Neill called it years ago. He's like, yeah, there'll be people with selfies taking selfies. Yeah, you know. Taking selfies. I mean, it's not just that it's a mall. It's the, it's one of the most affluent malls I've ever seen in my life. Oh, it's, it's very, only yeah, only exclusively rich stores. Well, yeah, the, the, you know the false flag's got to be worth something, right? Yeah, you know it can't. <laughs> Nobody did a false flag to move in a Walmart. We ain't doing know? this for Denny's. Well, yeah, this is Mont Blanc pens. You <laughs> dumb fuck. You want to sign contracts with a nice pen? Yeah. I think everyone now accepts that the day is shady, and I don't mean everyone, but like. Most people in our generation and younger, the day is shady. What? Nine eleven. Oh, is that what you? Is that the new term for nine eleven? The day? No, I just the said day is shit. Like the day. I like I, that. Yeah. Well, sure. I'm just saying. I think after Epstein and after everything that everybody's seen. Oh yeah. Everybody's kind of like revisiting that in their own head, well, going, but, "Yeah, it doesn't make any sense." There was a it. point, like when when the JFK film came out, people were still like, "Fuck this, all of us." But right. I feel like by 2002 or four, and we're seeing the Iraq war. We know something's crooked. And it's like, yeah, they probably killed Kennedy. It takes you 20, 30 years. Yeah. But like, are they ever going to like know for sure? Probably not. But like, just like in what, 78 or like 85, whatever, there's some House committee has like on, or select certain. Yeah, they on conclude there's a probable. Acoustical evidence. Yeah, there's, probable there's like a probable conspiracy. And we're all like, huh, all right. Like, whatever. We're like, huh, I guess so. <laughs> Someone did something. Whatever you say. But yeah, so 9-11, I mean, people kind of like, I don't I don't know how you could see the Iraq war and how and the whole path of it. Because Afghanistan is one thing. Yeah, Afghanistan, we go there. I mean, of course, it's bullshit. But, you know, it makes sense, at least on paper. But like the amount of people who were convinced that Saddam Hussein was behind 9-11 and that like and just. The leaps we made, uh, any reasonable person would have to. Hold on. Let's ask this guy. I ask him nothing. Sir. Sir, hello. What do you want to Sir, do you know where the northern state is? Oh, it's that way? Northern, northern state? That way. Oh, uh, thank you. I think he's pointing to the LAE. Oh, yeah, yeah this is northern state. This is, this is, look at the brick and I, stuff. Yeah, because I'm trying to get to the, the cider mill. Why don't you put the cider mill in your phone? I want Ben to see the fall the way we do it in Long Island. I've never been to the cider mill. You've never been to the cider uh, mill? I think you brought home some What cider. kind of dumb fuck are you? I went to Yapeng Farms. Yeah. Is there a fan we can turn on at least? Right. It's not everyone's fault. You're 900 pounds. I'm not 900 pounds. <laughs> um, Jericho Cider Mill? Yes. They're probably closed. No, they're not. Sunday 2? Better not be closed. In Jericho? Correct. What does it say to do? Uh, it is 51... Oh, it's by train. It's not 51 Hold minutes. On. I, have it, I have it by train. Maybe that's the problem before. It was by train. Okay, it's 11 minutes away. Let's what see. Hold on. Heading 
on Nassau Boulevard, South Service Road towards Searing Town Road. No, you fucked up. Oh, there you go. Get on. Yeah. Get on the expressway. I know what I'm doing. All right. Well, do it then. I'm that guy. Slide left onto the I-495. Wouldn't it be funny if the GPS was like, there are lanes going east, <laughs> there are lanes oh going God, west. what's going on here? And then there are lanes going straight to hell. Why is it so backed up? Jesus. It's backed up. You know, everybody's going to see their mamas. We stop at the Chinese I'm going buffet, to see my mamas. Chinese <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see my mama. It's Sunday. Mama making the meatballs. They got to talk about how great Trump is. Oh, I love Donald there. Trump. I used to, I used to, but you know, you know, when we would go out to dinner, Doreen would quiet me when I would talk about Mexicans. Now it's all good. <laughs> she goes, you let it fly. Uh, what, are you I, getting off? No, I mean. Are you going to be that guy? you going to be that guy who like, uses this the ramp and then. This is a dick move. It's not a dick You're, move. This is like classic, like, you know, just shitty person thing. To Sorry do. that I'm a winner. You, we have an HOV lane you can use probably. Sorry that I'm a winner. Yeah, but how long are we on this? Uh, let's see. For two minutes, right? Six point four miles. Oh, we're gonna get into the HOV. Is that really? Actually, I don't. I, I, on the weekends, is it even a thing? People seem to avoid it, though. The thing about the HOV is that even though it's only active from like you know, for two hours on in the morning and two hours at night during the week, people avoid it the other time. So you can get in there when you're allowed to use it. That's a Long Island tip from Ray. So if you're drunk, <laughs> just had an HOV. It's fine. Uh, you only have one DW. I, I have a DWAI. What does that mean? Uh, drive them impaired, but it'll still keep you out of Canada in many situations. Um, you can take your chances, right? But, I tried uh, to have you come up for the live podcast. Well, I, didn't wanna, I could have risked it, and I would have. I would have gone back I, in cuffs. I wouldn't have minded. I didn't want to like risk you being out the money or whatever. So I appreciate I, it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it takes a while. Canada, I think it's a retaliatory thing because we put some restrictions on Canada, or maybe because of what we do with Mexico. Canada's like, no, we're gonna we're gonna fuck you guys now, right? And so we do that, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I get it. Yes. I even go. Where's my? Can you get my nasal spray out of my bag, Ben? It should be towards the top. Ben Next puts his hand in beef. your bag. There's just a spider. Well, there's, there's roast beef and cheese in there. That's my spider. Here's my pack. Also, a bottle of water. I like the. I'm excited for my you. whistle. I'm excited for you to go to the cider mill for the first time, Raymond. I mean, I can't eat enjoy any, any of it. You can enjoy it all, Raymond. Do they, will they have any thick cut bacon? Thank they you. have candied bacon dipped in apple glaze. That's so good. They don't have that even. I mean, look, there's an Applewood Farms. So maybe they have that stuff there. How about they have Swiss roll ice cream? What, like a Swiss roll but with ice cream? It's yum yum. Hmm. There's a lot of good food there for all the fatsicles. All the fatties. Like, that's Is like it a, a national <laughs> thing or the Suffolk people come the fat Suffolk people come out for it? No, fat Suffolk people stay in there. Suffolk really is until you get to the Hamptons. It's a real dump. The park was quite nice. Yeah, they say, Nassau is the whole uh, like Nassau is the character and the culture. I mean, I grew up in Suffolk, so I disagree. Well, dude, Nassau County anthem was much better. Nassau County state of mind than Suffolk tried to do it. What did Suffolk do? <laughs> they were like, oh, uh, we're in that <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> we're about to Flanders duck. It was like horrific. Now, what is this nasal spray for? It's just I, I be getting over. Uh, Cold slash um, slash make me up. What is uh, no slash, uh, thing? allergy thing? Okay, are you addicted to the spray? No, it's the British saline. People can't. Can you get on your phone and tell me where to go to get to the? I mean, this is how much. What? How much fucking? I want to get all the way back there. It's crazy. That's not good for you. These things. It's saline. All right, that's it. It's just salt water. There's nothing else in there. Nothing. Three point oh. eight miles. All right. <laughs> You know, I mean, I'm trying to take care of my. Uh, it makes me money. This voice. I, take care I of know. Uh, so this is the expressway. Really doesn't have a lot of charm. No, uh, it's kind of a, a dull road to drive down. The northern or southern state definitely has a little more of a scenic aspect to it, but it was built in racism, and so I don't know. It's a trade-off. 
right? It's a trade-off because on one hand it's racist, <laughs> but on the other hand it's charmless. <laughs> that's not really what a trade-off. No, is. The, the, the northern state, the the, the, the southern and northern state are more charming. Right, than the it's understandable. That's what I'm saying. That's a trade-off. I mean, you drive through certain parts of the northern state. It's quite nice. By Hofstra, I just drive there every day. Uh, when I went to Hofstra for a year, and I failed Japanese. Um, Why did you take Japanese again? I liked Japanese cinema. I liked anime at the time. Right. I thought it'd be kind of cool. I mean, who doesn't want to go to Japan? Japan seems like a fucking great place. I would love place. to go to Japan. It's too it's too pricey it's right now. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not. You know. It's not feasible. Right. Um. So yeah, but it's it's a hard language to learn. Uh, Watashi no tengo wa film des. What does that mean? My major is film. Watashi. Love that you're walking around Japan like. <laughs> Watashi no seven say. Laughing. Listen to me. All right, so we two point three miles, five minutes. We're five minutes away apparently. Yeah, this is a great. This is dude. When more? I was a child, I would go because my grandfather lived in Mutton Town, had a pool and a tennis court, two and a half acres. Not a big deal. Um, eight bathrooms in the home. And the point is that we would then go to get cider and maybe, and then I, every now and then I'll bring an apple crumb pie to, uh, you know, an event and I'll get it from here. Are you going to eat at the cider mill? What, what do you, you mean? Are you going to eat these treats there? I'm going to see what treats they have. Because if, you if you're going to eat, I'll just bring my roast beef with me, I'm saying. No, no, idiot. All right. We're going to eat Jeremy's later. We can eat Jeremy's. What's Jeremy's? Eat. Jeremy's Ale House in Freeport. Okay. Me and Ben are getting buffalo shrimp Ooh. and all this good stuff. Can you get a steak? It, no. It, dude, it's all keto. Okay. Dude, keto is a state of mind. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not so, a specific set of nutritional guidelines. Okay. It's a state of mind. Like, you can be keto and eat bread. You can be keto and have ice cream. I mean, it's just got to believe in you yourself. You can be keto and have sugar. You you're like, you're like keto. Paul, like Paul Wolfowitz, believe in yourself. <laughs> yes. Dude, you could be 600 pounds and you could just go, I'm keto as fuck. <laughs> I, should, I should be a rapper called Keto, keto Cump. <laughs> I'm just a really fat rapper. I'm just talking about, like, I eat bacon. <laughs> I eat cheese. <laughs> Fuck me, please. Keto cop. I don't eat cobs. <laughs> I smoke mobs. I don't eat cobs. I'm keto cop. People are like, this is horrific. I eat cum, not carbs. Are you still making EDM music? And are you still pursuing your career as an EDM DJ? Well, I don't know if I was ever actively pursuing a career, but yes, I'm still. I, mean, yeah. I just moved. We went through a little bit of a transition moving, but I'm getting my stuff set back up. But yeah, I, I have a Do new I track. Do I get off here? Do you want to? Oh yeah, one six forty forty one. Yeah. Well, you, started, you started asking me about my new passion, and you're like, and like, I'm sorry, I missed the exit. I was the wrong exit. I know. Yeah, that, north. Yeah, but we can get there, right? We, from here, we should be able to, I guess. I mean, this is for oh yeah, let's just go, let's go north, go north, yeah. Uh, Keto come. Yeah, I mean, I program beats. I mean, I have a new. I I'll, I'll put a link on my Twitter uh, soon, uh, maybe today, um, so people can check out my beats on uh, SoundCloud. You know, I'm just doing my thing. I ain't trying to, you know, run the world here. Just making some beats. Word up, bro. I'll get a show. I'll, after we get some cider, we'll see where my grandfather lived. And then we'll head down South Shore. Yeah. And we will have lunch or a lot late lunch on at my window. Jordan's. Uh, oh, we're going to Jordan's Lobster? No. at uh, We could go there, too, actually. But let's get some lobster. Let's get a fucking full. Dude, you can go to the fish. You can go to Jeremy's and get any fish you want. Oh, really? I mean, yeah. It's, but, I mean, you know. Jeremy's also has like mozzarella sticks and chili cheese. You can eat mozzarella sticks on keto. Yes, you can. They're breaded. Bread is okay on keto. Oh, God. Dude, bread is. Oh, I, what keto are you doing? The keto where you actually lose weight. I'm sorry. The keto what where you keto don't just. You, okay, can I tell you the rules of keto? Yeah. Say, repeat after me. Ready? Yes. I'm keto. I'm keto. That's it. It's like a prayer. If you say I'm keto before what you eat, it's okay. Okay. If you look at a loaf of bread, you go, I'm keto. Are they going to like, <laughs> I mean, be these, these friends you have out in California, the ones that you're better, these guys who are like, you know, you're, you're, you're betters, the, the guys you're trying to impress. Yeah. Are they going to like, you know, if you if you stay fat, you're talking shit about keto. I'm, you're not, like, I'm, on I'm keto. not staying fat. I've lost a lot of weight. I'm continuing to lose weight. Well, you're not, yeah, at this the is moment, an you're entertainment program. At the moment, this is gonna, where Otto the Ghost was here to the right. It's an entertainment program. Oh, I, I worked here. That was Otto the Ghost. Oh, the Mill Ridge. I, I used yes. to do weddings there. 
What, what, what do you One say? One time a Russian mother of the, of the groom, I think she wanted to fuck me. She was uh, dancing with me. So you say if I stay fat, are my friends going to be my friends? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just saying you're talking a lot of shit. They seem to care about keto a lot. And you're saying I'm on keto and you're hurting the image. So you're saying Rogan. Well, Rogan like yeah, me if I I'm still bring fat. Up the, you know, just yeah. the one person. Well, it's like I could kill you're running everybody. your mouth. You're running your mouth and Rogan's going to be like, look, you're making my keto thing look bad. He doesn't do keto. Yeah, well, I think he does the primate diet, right? He does something, but he, he has carbs, but he just works out a lot. Now, I'm losing. I have an overall commitment to losing weight. Everyone knows that. All right. Everyone knows that, but I'm also a comedian. I'm also here to entertain people. Right, but we're going to be off mic, and you're going to be eating a donut in a That's minute. That's not true, Ray. <laughs> it's keto, bitch. <laughs> you dumb fuck. Oh, this is smaller than I thought it would be. Oh. Uh, we're going to get rear-ended. This guy is down. All right, relax. You're, 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 Dude, how, you're how animalistic an is Long Island? Long Island this is te- well, you're being a maniac right <laughs> how now. How animalistic is Long Island? You can block in the driveway here. <laughs> this was uh. All right, hold on. We got to go get some keto snacks. So we're, we're stopping. Okay. 